broken down cars. The bikes are about to come out again. Actually, the bikes never left. What you want to do? You want to keep it out the water, right? Like stay out the water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Shalom. Hey, you want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, Shim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shim, Rakak Wadash. Yahweh Honest to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, and Shalom to the elect. You know, and um, hey man, one of the big hot news of the week was uh, the video the apostle Aramlob did uh, about um, basically the word is out. You know, these devils, now they're talking about. You know, uh, we gotta do something about those, uh, those violent, uh, racist, black people, grizzly like You know, so now Esau's, you know, making more mention of us, which he, he, he knows that we're telling the truth. But as you say, you can't beat him, join him, man. So he's gonna try to, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 infiltrate the camps if he hasn't already. You know, he's gonna try to uh, have, you know, certain sellouts of, of uh, in the different Israelite camps do something stupid, so therefore they'll have a reason to come down upon us, man. You know, that's that, uh, what was that? I didn't, well, I didn't watch the movie, but brothers was talking about that's what that Judas and the Black Messiah is about, man. Mm -hmm. You know, basically Esau, uh, what is, it's called some, it's got something called COINTEL Pro, man. You know, it's called Counterintelligence Program, which, where he puts his different puppets, you know, in these, um, these different so-called organizations, as he calls them, all right? And those puppets who do something stupid, now the world will look bad uh, at all of us. You know, it's like a, a so-called Muslim. Right? You think every Muslim is a uh, you know bad uh, terrorist, you know, one that just likes to blow the blow the bomb. You know, but that's what this devil has to uh, treat. All right, but um, it's almost like um, it's almost like that one. Uh, there's a camp that just did some stupid shit already. That they were going to the firing range dressed up as with, with, with the fringes and all that, and they were in there shooting. So you have Esau you shit like that to come against us because they were saying in that video that they're being more militant now, you know what I'm saying? So then you get these people that do that, go to these shooting ranges and do that. I mean, Rob was talking about that. I think and that, that just gives them a more chance to go out there and label us, you know, criminals and shit like that. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You might grab that in Matthews where he speaks to how was shot so Peter. Uh, he that lived by the school shall die by the school. You know, because we, we worship, you know, every time we come out here, we, we worship, uh, well, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, you know, when it was his time, he told Peter, look, because, you know, Peter got, he didn't understand it wasn't time to get carnal, man. You know, he had zeal in which he cut off the centurion's ear, you know, and Yahweh Shai uh, put it back. The brother, you know, brother know where that's at. Hey, Yahweh Shai, uh, I think it's Matthew 26 and 50. We got it. Matthew chapter 26, verse 52. I started at verse 51. And behold, one of them which were with the Yahweh Shai stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. Verse 52. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. And that proves even in the scriptures that you had dudes that was working for the other team, man, because. Here it is, Yahweh Shai was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Only a few people know where that was at. So how did, you know what I'm saying, how did the centurions know where to come? I want to show you that, hey, even just as, as, as it is today, so it was back then. 
Yeah, that's why the scripture speaking on being circumspect. You know, it's the Lord's will. You know, Judas, you know, is around you. You know, hey, but hey, if the Lord give us, uh, you know, that, uh, that discernment, his ass up out of there, man. You know, because you got a lot of them around here. You know, and like the apostle said, in every camp, you got agents, man. You know, and um, what it's looking like, you know, like during this week, uh, the apostle uh, Rumlob, who did the show, and the uh, rest of the apostles, you know, Apostle Bar did a show on it. Well, now they talking about it basically going into the gates of the nobles, man. All right, so now, you know, Israelites is considered, well, they've been considered it, you know, but they talking about it. So this is really prophecy, man. You know, go ahead, you got something? Yep, hey, keep going on that. Um, verse 53. Thinkest thou that I could not now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels? He was start back in 50, was it 52? Yeah. Yeah, you can start back in 52. Then say Yahweh sign to him, put up again that sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels? Go. Yeah, because, hey, um, when you read it to him, you read about actually the life of Yahweh Shah, when John saw him, he said, what, well, behold the man of God. You know, so he came in his, you know, in his, in his walk as a man, man. That's, that's what we come as, man. You know, we let Yahweh, yeah, we let uh, Yahweh, the most high, do his thing. All right? How much should I say I lay down my life? You know, we out here laying down our lives, man. We out here, you know what I'm saying? Week in and week out, we got the same message. All right? We got the same message is that the Most High is gonna come back and destroy this place and deliver us from, from uh, you know, from, from the hands of our enemies. You know, we never say nothing about what we gonna do. We always say what the Most High is gonna do. Mm. Uh, what, what the Lord say, uh, wait ye upon me until the day that I rise up to yeah. the prey. You know? Yeah. Right, appreciate that. Do you mind if I listen? Yeah, you can listen. Hey, of course you can listen. Okay. You got a precept, bro? Yeah, you got it. Uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 10 and 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right. but mighty yeah. through Yahweh to pull it, pulling yeah, down the strongholds. Uh, somebody get uh, Romans 13. Start at 2? Yeah. 2 Corinthians 10 and 2. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with the conf that confidence, wherewith I think to be bold against some, which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Right, so basically men, you know, the scriptures tell us that we gotta come out here and lift up the voice, wag the tongue, I mean, uh, you know, wag your finger, man. You know, but that doesn't necessarily mean, because, you know, brothers have a, a, a you know, a rough, a rough way of teaching it, you know, that they're actually gonna get physical with you. Yeah, you know, that doesn't mean that they're actually going to get physical with you, man. As a matter of fact, when you go, and, you know, somebody may ask you a question, and it kind of may, it may seem like, you know, a brother is screaming at you, but really it's just because, what, he has, he's very uh, uh, emotional about the scriptures, man. Passionate. You know? He's very passionate about the scriptures. The question is, that's always positive. When you don't know something, you're damn right, you but excuse the language. Sure, you don't know, you don't know. Yeah. And, on, and, and you need to ask. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta understand a little more. Exactly. You know, and uh, I'm gonna get up out of here, but you're right. Questions, it's always positive. All right, go ahead. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep on on that up. Oh, um, sorry, bro. For the weapons of our sorry. warfare are not carnal but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. Keep going. Yep. So the weapons of our warfare is not carnal, man. But mighty through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah to pulling down the strongholds. Somebody grab uh, Isaiah 11 and 4. Uh, hold on. Grab that Isaiah 11 and 4. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 4. But with righteousness, I shall start at, uh, start at the top. Isaiah 11 and 1. And there shall come forth a rod of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Right, and that rod, all right, out of the stem of Jesse was uh, King David, and then out of King David came Solomon, all right? With Solomon in the reincarnation is Yahweh Shah, you can receive it. Verse two, 
and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. And when we say Yahweh Shai, for those who don't know, Yahweh Shai is who the world normally calls Jesus Christ. All right. In the ancient world, there was no J. All right. Even when you go into the um, what you have it right here, the 1611, it would be uh, they would, see that it would say Yesus. Hold up, brother. Hold up, brother. Hold, 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 hold your peace, yo. Go My bad. It would say My bad. Jesus, I'm gonna go. You know, or it would say like uh, any word that you use today with a J, it would it would be a I. You know, so there was no J in the um, the uh, you know, in the ancient world. Plus, you know, Yahweh Shai was a Hebrew, or, or who you call Jesus. The scriptures call him a Hebrew, so it, it would be evident that he had a Hebrew name. That's right. Can I ask you a question? Right. It says, uh, verse two. Who was Jesus? And the spirit of the, the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Right. So everybody who had worldly wisdom when it came to the uh, when it came to Yahweh Shai all right he was able to cut that up man because what he had the Lord Yahweh with him you know keep going on says, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes right it shall make him of quick understanding as a matter of fact the scriptures speak about when he came up as a child you know he was uh, uh cutting the doctors and the lawyers of the time you know because he had the knowledge of the Lord with him and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove the equity for the meat of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips right. shall he slay the wicked. So with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked, man. Somebody grab what's that, uh, Jeremiah 5 and 14? Mm. You know? It's with these words that Esau is getting eat, eaten up, man. The scriptures say, the hey, the brother had just brought it out. The weapons of our warfare is not carnal. Somebody grab uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. Yeah, I got you. This is Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. Right, because his word devour them? That Hebrews 4. This is what this word Woo. does, man. That's deep. Uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful mm. and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow. And right. So, what, 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 um, what happens when you're devoured, man? That means you're, you know, when you eat food, you devour it, you swallow it up, man. So, this word swallows you up, man. You know, any questions that you might have, you know what I'm saying? Any beef that you might have. If you just let the word come out, you'll get understanding, you know what I'm saying? You'll get edified, you'll get reproved, you'll get, you know, however the word touches you, the word is going to touch you, yeah. you know? Yeah, and, I, and it also says it's sharper than any two-edged sword. So why do we need to pick up guns when we got the word? Exactly. It's sharper, it's better than any gun. It could do more damage than any weapon that you could ever have, man. Exactly. You know, you, hey, we could speak a word now, and two, three months, two, three months down the line, it come to pass, man. That's how short this world is, man. Yeah. Ecclesiasticus 28, 17. The stroke of the whip maketh marks in the flesh, but the stroke of the tongue breaketh the bones. Ooh, Damn. There you go. The stroke of the tongue breaketh the bones, man. You know, so a good word, it could build you up or it could break you down, man. You know, you can grab uh, uh, 2 Timothy 3, 16. Mm. Hey, the brother, um, real quick, uh, brother uh, Rob Mayum, 2 Thessalonians, hey, shall I want, Mark? Hey, uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right, through the spirit of his mouth, which is his prophets, man, and then through the brightness of his coming. See, when the Lord comes back, we're not going to, we don't have to do any talking, man. The Lord's actions is going to do the talking, man. You know? You know, we, we are the uh, heralds, we're heralding, um, we're heralding the king, man. You know, when you watch like movies like 300, the king didn't just come off the bat and he, he allowed, you know, his uh, servants to come so he could prepare, all right? The Lord told us, that, uh, uh, like down the back, to be preparing the way of our, of our Lord and Savior, man. Can I do it? Okay, real quick, that's, that's what it's all about. Hold on, 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 I just want to say goodbye. Yeah, all right, 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 all
That's what it's all about, man. You know, he is mad because we're exposing him that he's the wicked that the uh, Bible speaks of, man. You know, man, he's mad that we're exposing him that he's literally against everything that the scriptures stand for, man. You know, and we're, and we're uh, 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 edifying the whole world and telling them, like, look, this guy is a damn devil, man. He's destroying the planet Earth, okay? He's trying to fight against the most high. You know, and, and he's going to get taken out of rulership and more of a righteous ruler is going to be put in his place. And that's what it's really all about, man. That's why he's really pissed off. That's why he's really going to be demonizing us. He knows that we're not uh, uh, carnal people, man. You know, he knows that. The fact that we're exposing and shining light on them, what do the workers do, man? They scatter. They, they're not trying to get killed. They get out of there. Yeah. And that's why the so called white man, he's going to be trying to demonize us, man. And doing these false flag attacks because we're exposing the living hell out of him, man. That he's the devil. And now he's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Now he's a serpent going back to the garden. Now he's king. That he's cursed. And that the most high hates him, man. So that's what it's all about, man. He's gonna come down upon us no matter what. So yeah. fuck this guy, man. And if any any man that claims he's an Israelite and he gets carnal and do something stupid like that to take arms and go against Esau, and go against this so-called white man, he's a fucking fool, man. He deserves destruction, man. Because the scriptures tell us to wait here upon the Lord till he rise up to the prayer. You know, you got these dumbass idiots, man. I got to call it the way it is. You know, guys going to the shooting range and giving Esau that ammo, just like the brother was saying. All right, they use that against you. Because Esau's uh, sword, excuse me, Esau's power, his blessing is his sword. That whole, that whole, that whole JC thing is a fucking psyops, man. They needed that to, to cast that in. So they could blame the whole, the whole uh, uh, realm or world you want to call, it, you know, call it Israel, man. Mm. You know, for everybody, you know, whether you studio prophet, all right, false prophet, you know. Go ahead, Doc. You got some. You got some. You got it. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter fifty-one. And I'll start at the top. To get into how you know he's gonna lie on us. He says, "I will thank thee, O Lord and King, and praise thee." Hey, yeah. Oh power, my savior, I do give praise unto thy name. For thou art my defender and helper, and hast preserved my body from destruction, and from the snare of the slanderous tongue, and from the lips that forge lies, and has been my helper, and has been mine helper against mine adversary. So Esau the Sukkot is a slender man, and he's going to forge lies. You know, he's going to set up these uh, uh, false guys, man, to guard you and do shit, you know. And then you got a uh, uh, pinhead idiots, man, amongst our own people. They're going to help the cause, too. You know, like the brother saying, going to the gun range, man. That's why the apostles from GMS said, don't be doing that, man. You want to do that on your own time, by all means, man. But don't give these guys ammo to come uh, against us in their agenda that you know they're going to push soon anyway, man. And that's why Vocab, he did a... That little, doc, little documentary already, he had Sakari in there, and they was rapping and shit like that with the colors, looking like an episode of Gangland, you know? Looking stupid as hell, man. That ain't what the prophets was about. Yeah. They simply came here to uh, uh, warn of destruction, like Jeremiah 28 and 8 said. Yeah, and, and when you look at what, you know, how do you forge something, or, you know, what takes place after you forge something, all right, like a person will, like say a person will forge your signature, it will make it seem like, you know, they are you, man. So here it is. It seemed like uh, these men, these so-called men, are right, is with us, man. But they're not. All right. They're they're of the seed of Satan, man. All right. I got some. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter two and fourteen. But the natural man, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Most High, but they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them. Because, uh, because they are spiritually discerned. All right, now a uh, natural man is a carnal man. He can't receive the spirit, uh, the Holy Spirit, the Takmadash of the Lord. All right, because the Lord had been given to him. And uh, Salaki, that wasn't the scripture I wanted to get. Go ahead, say something. Salaki. Psalms 120, and I saw verse 1. In my distress, you got it. It says, In my distress, I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. Yep. So that's that's what we're dealing with now, man. Lying lips and a deceitful tongue. And, and that's uh, 
the scriptures say, um, I believe that's in James. They speak about how the tongue is like fire. You know what I'm saying? Set. You can grab uh, James 3, I believe. Yeah, real quick. Let me read this real quick. This is Romans chapter 8 and um, verse 3. Let's start at, uh, start at 1. It says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Yahawashah Mashiach, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Because that's what this thing is about, being spiritual, man. We're not carnal men to take up and do crazy shit, which really will lead to nothing. All right? The Lord, Yahweh Shah, is coming to give what? Us the whole world, man. You know? It says, for the law of the spirit of life is Yahweh Shai. Hamashiach have made me free from the law of sin and death. For what is the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh Yahweh sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit it says for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit hey if I may interject real quick and and, and that's where that's where Esau's frustration is going to build up because here it is, he wants us to be carnal. He wants us to walk after the flesh. So since the elect don't walk after the flesh, nor do they war after the flesh, the only thing that's gonna breed on Edom's in is frustration. That's why Revelation 12 and 12 is written. The devil shall come upon you with great wrath because he knows he has but a short time. And that also indicates that this devil is gonna to have to create a demonization upon the prophets. You know, because we're not out here shooting shit up. We're not out here blowing shit up. You know, they have to, they, they just have to put uh, our name, you know, in alignment with these uh, heinous acts, man, right. in which they set up. It's called order ab chaos. Bring order out of chaos. Psalms 94 and 20 also tells us, uh, for he frameth mischief by a law. So the only way this devil can come after us is create a false flag situation, pin it on us, and then create laws behind it. You know? You might can grab uh, John 18 and 20. I'll finish this real quick. This is uh, Romans 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You know, so we are the spirit, man. You know, what we know and what the Lord gave us is understanding. You know, for us brothers to have that understanding, because without understanding, all right, you won't be able to understand this knowledge. You can have knowledge, but if you ain't got the understanding to apply with the knowledge that you know, then what good is it? You know? That's why with guys, you know, you see that pack of heat, guns and shit, doing uh, suspicious shit. You gotta get away from them guys, man. You gotta get away from them guys, man. You know? Because the scriptures say be circumspect. You know? It's, it's the scriptures say be circumspect, meaning to be vigilant to see, man. You know? Hey, uh, I was just talking about that, that movie. I ain't see the movie, but that spirit is out. Since they put that movie up, the Judas, you know, the, the Judas and shit, you know? The book of 19, actually. John chapter 18, verse 19. The high priest then asked Yahweh Shai of his disciples and of his doctrine. Yahweh Shai answered him, I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple. Whether the Jews always resort, and in secret have I said nothing. See, the Lord in secret ain't say nothing. This world, this word is spoke openly to the world, man. Yahweh Shah said in Matthew 24, this, this gospel go across the face of the earth and then shout it ain't coming. That mean that this, this truth is not supposed to be hidden. All right, the truth of the matter is, is that we're the Israelites and that we're waiting on Yahweh Shai to come through that heavens, man. And to, and to deliver us by the ways of his chariots, man. No other way. No other way. All right? <clears throat> See, Esau, he studied, brothers, infiltrate, study, and did with the scriptures that apply where, you know, with brothers, you know, you know God said, we're going to uh, meditate terror, and, and we're going, you know, and when the Lord give us that power, we're going to have our way with you, Edomites. But then they'll flip that, man, okay. and make it something carnal, like that's a... a, a a, a way that you should, you know, carry yourself, and every time you see an Edomite, you should pull out on them. Well, we ain't the pull-up boys, man. You know? yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. That's yeah. why, hey, that's, 
you know, brothers, we're talking about understanding. The scriptures tell you things to come. It tell you things that has happened. It tell you things that, uh, you know, how to get out of certain situations. So just because we're saying it, that don't mean that don't mean okay, it's lawful to do it. Case in point, uh, putting on, um, you know, a uh, sodomite to death. The scriptures tell you you can do it, but should you be doing it? No. Yeah. What's All that? right, because it's not lawful right now. The scriptures, you got that? Not speeding. Not speeding. Not speeding. Oh, exactly. You can keep reading on that though. Right? Yep. Uh, back in John chapter 18, verse 21, it says, Why actest thou me? Ask them which heard me. What I have said unto them, behold, they know what I said. Right, they hear us, man. We out there on the highways and hedges, and on top of that, we're, we're on the, uh, the YouTube, man. We on, the we on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, all that, man. You know? So they, they, they know. They see us, they hear us. All right, you got brothers in Spanish speaking in, you know, Creole, all types of languages, man. Even sign language. So they understand perfectly what we're saying. Well, let me say they hear perfectly what we're saying. Hey, and then remember in the House Committee guy, talking about how the black people like to get more militant. Yeah. That reminds me of uh, those damn, those fools who said, no, no, you know, if a cop pull over somebody, we don't have our guns. Probably, right. they right. probably gave them the extra ammo to say right. you get more militant. Right. Cause I think, neighborhood man, watch. Yeah, neighborhood watch, black Hebrew Israelites, right? Cause up there ain't nobody getting militant. What the hell is he talking about? And I remember those guys, man. Right? That is some militant, goofy, stupid shit, man. What are you talking about? But I think they were saying more militant referring to the Jersey City. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's science. They keep trying to bring that shit yeah. back up. And that's what they use to, to basically, because I remember, remember there was a uh, video with the, 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 what is it, the, the Jake Judge, the female? Mm -hmm. she, was, she was cursing the guy out. Like, what is it that they do? Yeah. Yeah. You got all yeah. this information, but what are they doing? And then they had to cancel it. But now since that, that uh, psyop they did in Jersey City, now it's back on board, you know? Mm -hmm. So you you it's pretty much all to condition the people to hate us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's what they're really doing. That's why they keep bringing that out like that. You know what I'm saying? To just make people think that we are militant. When right. That ain't the case. Hey, we're prophets. Prophets, hey, we're, we're not militant, man. I'm not dressed in army fatigue and, and combat boots and war and war. See? But there's camps out here, yeah. man. The, the 600 man muscle man march? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're, we're teachers. That's what we are. That's it. Teachers. Teaching on the street. Keep going on that up. Yeah. Uh, verse 22. Let me start back at 21. Actually. Book of John, chapter 18, verse 21. Why actest thou me? Ask them which heard me. What have I said unto them? Behold, they know what I said. And when he had thus spoken, one of the officers which stood by struck Yahweh Shai with the palm of his hand, saying, Answers thou the high priest so? Yahweh Shai answered him, If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why smoutest thou me? Exactly. So well, here it is. You know, you're accusing me of being violent, but you're being violent to me. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're being a hypocrite. All right, like the brother said, and even the scriptures say, um, he that is without understanding uh, smiteth the hand. It's a book in the book of Proverbs, you know? Mm. Yeah. You got something? Else? Yeah, this is Psalms chapter 19 and 1. To the chief magician, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of Yahweh, and the firmament show up his handiwork. Day unto day utter of speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. They understand it, yes. It says their line is going out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun which is as a bridegroom cometh out of his chamber and rejoiceth and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a run a race his going forth is from the end of end of the heaven and his circuit his circuit unto the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof right going into matthew 25 father the, the lord he left his talents to his servants all right and his servants would flip those talents by what going to work um doing the lessons all right, uh, telling on the McNasty, the scriptures, everything in the scriptures, man. You know, that's what the, hey, the Lord said in um, John 17. You know, he told, he, he prayed for the uh, disciples. He said, "What well, I, I have given, I have given them that truth. That word is truth." Yeah, hey, it's, it's the internet scripture, man. We say this is the internet scripture, All right? The Lord it says, "The heavens declare the glory of the Most High, and the firmament shows for hand." He saw the loud to go up. Put those satellites out there for a reason 
Yeah, he thought it was for his power, but really it was for the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushad to spread forth his word. See, through this internet, we, this word has been spreading. You know, so it's really backfired in the hands of Esau, or in the eyes of Esau, because they thought it to be of great power of themselves. You know, we're in this time, they call it the, the, the information age, you know, when, they, when they're losing the info war because of the internet, now they're actually trying to fight back by what? Censoring, man. You know, shutting people up. And then ultimately, they want to shut the prophets up. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We understand prophecy that when the prophets have to shut up, that is because of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And also, what comes after that? That means the Lord is not talking anymore. Now, the Lord is going through things. You know, he told us to be quiet. He shut the prophets up. It means to be quiet. He said, you, matter of fact, in Ezekiel, he said, he said you will be, uh, let me just get it. So I can to say something. Uh, There's no language in which their word is not understood. Yeah, yeah. The brother, now the brother just mentioned, you got brothers out there, uh, out there teaching in sign language, man. Hmm. So it's nice to tell you that you got brothers out here that's part of the elect. You know that are deaf, that that can't hear. So the Lord put the Spirit upon certain brothers to be able to perform sign language to what gain the understanding. Man. You know, some prophecies being fulfilled day by day. Man. Yeah, this is Ezekiel chapter three and twenty-six. I will make thou tongues flee to the roof of thou mouth, and thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, but they are a rebellious house. So. So the, the, the timeline of salvation for the doors to be open is almost closed. You can't get to the Yahweh Shai without going through his mediator, which is the prophets, the teachers. They're there to reprove you, to correct you. you know, that, that's why the scripture, hey man, when the Lord removed the prophets, it's gonna be beautiful, man. Because why? The, the prophecy of them going to and fro, up and down, looking for the men of the Lord, you're not gonna mm -hmm. find them. You know, it's gonna be a famine on his word. It says, verse 27, But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are rebellious house. All right? Because the Lord has sent the prophets for you Israelites, man. But in the process, the prophets are also to condemn the wicked society, man. All right? Jeremiah 28 and 8, you know? To condemn this wicked society, because why? You know, how, is, how else the Israelites, the Lord's people, is supposed to come back to the Most High? All right, if they think, if, if they think that that this this um, government is, is uh, the righteous uh, standard, when it's not, it's the most wickedest standard. Matter of fact, it goes back to mind control. All right, right now, you see um, everybody in the most, um, lost the word, you see everybody and it's uh, stupefied, is that a word? Okay. <laughs> you know, everybody in this stupid mindset, man. Yeah. Where they don't they don't even acknowledge common sense anymore, man. And it's to the point where it, it'll make you mad because you'll look at this person that's a grown person, you know, that you would think to have sense, but instead they think one plus one equals three. Now this guy told me he had to break, God told me, basically he said that the one plus one not, not that time, not okay, that time. Okay. But this guy, he said, the one plus one, and then I also seen uh, Eddie Griffin, the comedian. Okay. He also said it, he reminded me. One plus one is three because the plus, you forget about the plus, that's, that's a, I guess that's a, uh, yeah, so one, two, three. Man, wait, no. Yeah, man. But you see, that's that's the foolery, man. That's the bullshit. So the Lord had to see you remove his prophets. It's the time that they're speaking. It's the time they're not going to speak. This is uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 36, verse 15. And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up the times and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. And this goes to prove on a side note that his people is Israel. Um, that, you know, that it's like it, that Israel is a people for its place. Ooh. Right, so it says, and on his people and on his dwelling place, but they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words. Hey, they mocked the messengers, man. You know what? That's them guys, man. The guys everybody loves to hate. The, the guy that everybody loves to hate, man. You know? They marked those guys, man. 
And then what? You condemn those same men. The same men that the Lord came and said, hey, through those men, the Lord is giving you mercy. Yeah. Because we're in a grace period. Well, use grace in a time of need. But this is a grace period where we can use that grace. If the Lord sees fit that we're striving for our mastery, man. Striving for perfection and reproving ourselves each and every day. You know? Go ahead, huh? Hey, like Jeremiah, I think um, it was a time, well, I can't remember which king it was at the time, but, he, you know, he left for a little bit. And he came back to tell the people that, look, if you don't get, well, um, he, he came back and told the people that uh, Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonians was coming down upon him. And they, you know, they, they got mad at him. Like, you, you left you left to come back and tell us this shit? You know, so they put him in a dungeon. You know, and um, I believe uh, the king at the time was Zedekiah, if I'm not mistaken. He, uh, you know, he came privately to ask him, you know, you know what can I do? And I was like, you can't do nothing. You're about to, you know, you're just going to have to take the judgment. But it says, uh, until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people. Until the wrath of the Lord rose against you people, man. And we're talking about two-thirds of the of our people the so called negroes latinos and native and seminole indians man according to this sign the lord sent mercy unto you by sending forth the prophets man you know and let me say start with our elders apostles here at great millstone all right these are the those are the true men of the lord that's sin and then you got brothers up under them that's learning and also sin man all in one sound mind doctrine man okay this is the reproving this is the reproving man you know, but hey, Jake, take light of it, man. This don't look like nothing to anybody, man. They just, you know, let me just look. They ain't talking about nothing. You got fools that'll come up and think we're protesting. We're not protesting big in the government. We're protesting the scriptures, man. We're lifting the banner of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. This is the standard. This is the government. You know? So now the government itself that's established here in today's today, they want to cast, uh, you know, they, they look at this as a, a threat. You know, and, and hey, it is according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But guess what? We're just messengers. You gonna kill the messenger? You know? <laughs> hey, fight the one that's coming to take it from you. We can't take nothing from you. All we teaching is the word, man. You know? You guys know? Uh, it's a little more. It says, uh, but they mark the messengers of God and despise his words and misuse his prophets. And, and, and you misuse this prophets, man. You know, hey, scoffers gotta study the scoff, man. Okay? He saw I gotta study the prophets for a year, years, man. And they gotta get those scriptures and they gotta practice and then they go out there and commit a psyops, man. And they do some, some hypocritical, some acting, man. With, with really real reality because people get hurt. When Esau pulls a psyops or pulls some type of um, uh, sacrifice, real people in real time get hurt. So that which makes it real. But it was all premeditated. It was a plot, or what they call conspiracy. But be behind closed doors, it was a plot, it was a thought process. And then they go act it out, real people get hurt, and now that's the real situation. That's the problem we're dealing with. That's that auto at KO, man. Mm -hmm. Problem, reaction, solution. You start a problem, the people react, and then you have a solution. Esau been doing this for years, man. This is how they control you, man. Well, uh, they, they, they slapped you in the face while well, Bill Gates was speaking on uh, herd immunity, man. That's disrespectful as hell, man. That's disrespectful, man. Herd, herd immunity. Like you just cattle, cattle running along with the rest of the cattle, not knowing no way. You just follow them. You ever see herd? You watch, brothers, watch the Animal Channel, and you see the stampede of uh, ox. They trying to haul ass, but then the last straggler or the week of few, them lions are preying on them. They're trying to get that 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 that, that lane, man. That weak. We're not we're not no fucking uh, uh cattle man. Alright? We're not animals, man. Here's the animal trying to call us animals. But he the real animal. He's the violent one. We taught you how to be civilized. Right. You over there getting bloody steak, making you the man. Uh being a mo and a transformer. Uh, Greek custom. That's destruction. That ain't healthy. Yeah. It's playing psychology on people's minds, man. You know, the foods, the water. He's the one killing everybody and hurting everybody, man. You the world you must terrorists. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. It says, until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. Therefore he brought upon them the king of the Chaldees who slew their young men with the sword 
in the house of their sanctuary and had no compassion upon young men or maiden, old men or him that stooped for age, he gave them all into his hand. So this is what we're telling you, man. This is what we're telling you, all right? That the Lord is not gonna have uh, uh, compassion in the time of the Lord's judgment, man. All right, Yahweh is coming back as a mighty uh, man of war, all right? And there's no compassion and love in, the, in time of war. See, the Lord gave Israel time. The Lord has a controversy with Israel, all right? But when the Lord brings judgment, there's no holds bars, man. All right, the Lord is what they say in the world. Uh, I'm not biased. My hands are biased. Yeah, well, that's the Lord, man. Uh, men, women, and children. Yeah. You know, and you know how Jake get emotional when when children is involved. But meanwhile, Esau gonna trick you out of it. He gonna trick you out of it. It's, it's gonna trick you out. He's gonna trick you out of your mind to think it's okay to deal with boys, to deal with little boys, being a pedophile. Man. He tricked you out already for being a, a mo, a transformer. So you think he can't trick you out to accept, you know, pedophilia? Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 29 says, Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. Mm. And you should consider your latter end because guess what? You know, in the world, they say, well, we all going to die. Well, guess what? Your death ain't going to be his death. Somebody get Jeremiah 15. You know, yet his death ain't going to be his death. Her death ain't going to be that her death, man. All right? Because the Lord, he distinguished the deaths. Matter of fact, the scriptures say he belongs to issues of death. He he, he bring it down. He, what would he say? He bring it down. He bring it up. He make it poor. He make it rich. You know? That's the Heavenly Father that sanctified that, man. Hey, uh, Edomite. Oh, matter of fact, I remember years ago, uh, brothers in L.A., man, brother told a beautiful story. That gave uh, that motivation and faith in the Lord, man. He had some devil trying to come into his workplace and trying to take him out. I remember that, man. Remember that, yeah. And it couldn't happen. Because why? The spirit of the Lord was with the brother, man. You know, hey, guess what? He saw his uh, blessings sometimes in jams. Or sometimes he backfires. Well, guess what? The Lord's blessings and righteousness, they don't backfire, man. They don't backfire. You know? So Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 2 says, And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Come, Jeremiah 15 and 1. Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward the people. Yeah, Moses and Samuel. That's pride. Like she was looking over here. Yeah, she was looking over here. But uh, Moses and Samuel stood before the Lord. <laughs> He's still honking at you too. Still, <laughs> still honking That's at pride. You. You know? Hey, but the scriptures say Moses and Samuel stood before the Lord. And and they stood before the Lord to cop plead for Israel. So hopefully that, hey, look, have mercy on your people. But what the Lord tell Samuel and Moses? Go ahead. He says, Yet my mind could not be toward this people. And that's the same thing he told Edris. You know? His mind can't be toward these people, man. This third and fourth generation that comes back and that hates the Most High. All right? They always err in the ways of the Lord. They err in their way of living to make the Lord hot, makes them angry, man. To so where the Lord want to put down that destruction. But the water Yahweh now shot for, for holding himself in the election, and which we hope to be a part of that. Lord, Lord willing, man, to be a part of that, man. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And this shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then shalt thou tell them, Thus saith the Lord, such as offer death to death, such as offer the sword to the sword. So the Lord said, Let them go forth. Let them go. Let them go. What the apostles teach us, man? What they, they said, their elders said, If a nigga can't get it, we're moving, moving on, on, man. That's, that, that's the mojo, man. That's, that's, the, that's the, the motto, you know? Nigga can't get it, we're moving on. Because the Lord even said it, man. That's the Lord said that. Let them go forth, man. Let them go. Let them do what they do. Because guess what? There's a judgment that comes with that. All right? We're in this earth to reap. Whatever we put in is what we're going to get out. You put in positivity, you 
get positivity back. You put in negativity, you get negativity back. I'm thinking about Dr. Tignani and shit. You got him in my head and shit. Because all he, he called himself the villain. You know, he puts out nothing but negativity. So, of course, he's always going to get that negativity back. You know, he's an unreasonable man. But anyway, go ahead. Uh, it says, And such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine. So some is going, going to lead to the sword, which is the modern-day gun. All right? Hey, some might get uh, what they call those in the, in the video game. You got a, a, a bat, like a blunt, called a blunt object or something. You know? Some people going, that's a sword. It might not be a sharp instrument, a sharp blade, but if you get beat in your head with a, a club, and you, and you dead, and, and, you, and you get put to death, you got killed by the sword, man. Okay? Or somebody, you know, run up on you, bang, you know, bleed out and die. So some gonna get put to death that way. What it says? And it says, uh, and such as are for the famine to the famine. And some gonna die of, of a lack of food and water. You know, that, that's, that, that's a grievous way to die, man. To die of starvation, man, when your inside starts to eat you alive. Your insides are starving so bad that it starts eating on your fat. It starts eating away at you, meaning you're being eaten from inside, man. <laughs> so your body is literally saying, fuck you. You know, I'm going to eat. I'm going to take this from you because there's no other way to, to put back in. So dying from a famine is a grievous death, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a slow agony death. Yeah. That's 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 a, 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 a wicked man's judgment, man. Because the scriptures say, when have the righteous been forsaken and baking bread? So you ain't, ain't going to have a righteous man dying of food and water, man. All right? That's light to the Lord, man. Uh, Matthew's the sixth chapter. When the Lord told the men, he said, uh, uh, Yahush, was it Yahusha? He said, um, uh, take no purse with you. Oh, I got that. Yeah. Matthew 10. Yeah, what you had? Yes, sir. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. Yeah, and many, the... many on earth shall perish of famine. That's that's a prophecy that's going to happen. It, hey, it happened in Venezuela. How much more happened in here in Babylon? Babylon the Great. Hey, judgment, man. Go ahead, huh? And the other that escaped the hunger shot a sword destroy. See? Hey, we'll go right hand to hand. Jeremiah 15 and 1 and down. You may escape the hunger. Oh, matter of fact, Amos. Amos. Eat a bear. Yep. Run into a lion, escape a lion, lean your hand on the wall. It's just like uh, what they got now is that um that uh you know the immigrants coming from Central America, they might be escaping that hunger or whatever, but they coming up here to you know eventually get vaccinated and chipped. Says, uh, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. And I will appoint over the four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Mm, to devour and destroy, man. Hey, the, even the birds got to eat. The Lord said it's going to be a great feast for the birds. All the dead bodies that's going to be laying, the birds going to clean that up, man. So the Lord going to make every last one of these birds, you know, they eat on what seeds, bread. You know, the, the ones that's not, uh, what you call it? It's carnivores. Yeah. Well, you know, these are carnivores, right? It's not carnivores. They don't eat on flesh. But they're going to be the ones also turned into eating flesh too, man. Unless the Lord just have a couple of birds that eat flesh just swarm over here. You know, they change locations. No. Either way, it's a bird that's going to eat up and, and devour the dead bodies, man. You know? That, that's, that's, the, that's the beautiful thing about it because... How, how in the midst of all of this madness and stuff that's going on, the Lord purposely stalled in the birds so that they have a feast, man. Like that, that's how methodical the Lord is, yeah. man. Hey, think about it when it's, um, uh, well, no, 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 it's not. I was thinking about it. But the movie messed with my head, right? Remember Noah? Remember the movie Noah? Remember Noah had slap, slap, slap. I don't know. I think it was. Jeremiah 16 and 4. They shall die of grievous deaths. Which is coming to Babylon the Great as well. It says, They shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried. But they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. And they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. And their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. Yeah, you got Chicago niggas, you know, 
them guys that rap world, that industry, you know, them young guys, they, uh, you know, talk about each other's death, dead homies and all that, disrespect, disrespecting a nigga want to kill you because you disrespect his dead homies. Well, what the Lord going to do? <laughs> you know, the Lord said to Jeremiah, what's that, Jeremiah 16? Uh, he said, step, step over, they, they shall die of previous deaths. Uh, 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 somebody get it real quick. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 oh, you ready? Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah 16 and 4, they shall die of grievous deaths. Oh, yeah. Oh, nah, so it says, they shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried. Right, neither shall they be buried, man. Because they're going to be laid there. You're not going to be able to mourn over them, man. You know? So niggas getting emotional about, yo, your dead homie, I smoked them and all that crap. Y'all dudes, man. Y'all ain't got nothing on the Lord. And guess what? The Lord wants that smoke. He wants you to know that he did it, man. All right? The Lord wants this is why the prophets are out here because the Lord wants you to know that he the one that put us in this captivity, man. Okay? That's Baruch the fourth chapter. All right, just as well as when the Lord deliver us, he wants that credit to know, he wants you to know that he the one that delivered you too. And matter of fact, the whole world is going to bow down to your how about shot, man. You know? That's going to be beautiful too and it makes sense why the Lord is going to shut the prophets up. You know, because imagine telling a nigga in that day to have faith. He's going to want to put you to trap, man. Right? I hope the Lord's gonna shut us up, all right? Keep our faith to ourselves, keep our powers to ourselves, and you know they just just uh, be desolate in their mind, man. Yeah, I got one real quick. This is um, this is in the book of Philippians, chapter two, chapter two, verse ten. It says, "Now it's a lot." Oh. Philippians chapter 2, verse 10. It says uh, that at the time, but at the name of Yahweh Shai, that at the name of Yah, we start up, it's locked in. Verse 9, wherefore Yahweh also hath highly exhorted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth. Everything is given under his under his rule. And the Lord told us in Romans that what? We're joint heirs with him. So whatever Yahweh Shah has, we have. If Yahweh Shah suffer, we suffer. If Yahweh Shah be glorified, we'll be glorified, man. You know, so going back into the beginning when we can't be starting off talking about these damn agents, man. Okay, or, or uh, guys in different camps are giving Esau that 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 ammo, you know, being carnal-minded men and not spiritual men and teachers. You know, for showing themselves to to be some type of war uh, warrior of this world. All right, that look. The uh, <laughs> losing my train of thought. Go ahead, man. Who else had a train of thought? Oh, Salakia, because why? We're waiting upon the Lord, man. You know. That's it. You might say so. Yeah, and, and that's why we can't take matters into our own hands. You know what I'm saying? Because we're waiting upon the Lord till He rises like, to like the a Right. You know. So it's about being spiritual within this thing. This thing is about to get a lot more carnal on Edom's end, you know, because he's not spiritual. So the more he gets carnal, the more we get spiritual. And that's essentially how we're going to win this thing through the spirit of power of by some El Shah, you know. Uh, Romans 12 and 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, say the Lord. Right, the Lord's gonna pay these devils, man. Because here it is, we don't even know all the wickedness and the atrocities that these devils have done. But well, yeah, I would know. You know, that's why the Lord said he's gonna um he's, he's gonna put his anger in us. You know, the Lord's gonna put his anger in brothers, you know, to execute judgment upon the heathen. You know? And, and and not only that, if we even attempt to take um vengeance against Edom, first of all, we're going north against the we're going north. On the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know, the scriptures say, He that takes vengeance on Cain shall read judgment sevenfold. Man. That's why, you know, when Jake, you know, commits murder on an Edomite, the time is that much more lengthy as opposed to him uh, committing murder upon one of his own people. You know, going back to judgment being placed upon Cain, you know, in the book of Genesis. You know, but at the end of the day, the Lord said, Judgment is his, man. You know, Yahweh Shah is going to have to stop the wine press alone, man. The Lord is stomping the wine press alone, it means nobody's with him. 
you know? And that's what, receiving, uh, putting judgment on Esau, the so-called white. You want that? Yeah, I got you. Uh, Isaiah 63. Yeah, I got you. This is Isaiah chapter 63 and 1. Who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? See, and that's why this devil, the so-called white man today, is running away from that uh, from that name, man. Edom. You know, because when you look up in the Zonda Van Bible Dictionary, it tells us Edom, the only nation who have not received mercy from the Heavenly Father, and Hallowed. Esau is the only uh, individual who's not going to uh, go back into their own land, you know, um, in the, when the kingdom of heaven is established. Scriptures say, uh, Edom shall be a possession there, you know, or Mount Seir, sorry. And that's where Edom dwelt, you know, so he's not going to even have a land to go back to. And, it's, and, and it makes sense that he's not going to have a land to go back to because he's going to get burnt off the face of the earth, man, after his thousand years of captivity. You know? So this is why he's so running, man. You know, here it is, and, and, and that's the only way the devil was able to pull this off, man. To hoodwink pretty much the world. You know, for the simple fact that we lost our our, our identity, we lost our heritage, we lost uh, the name of our power, we lost everything about us. You know, we lost everything about us. You know, so this devil knowing that we don't know who we are, he was able to claim who we are. You know, he wasn't able to get that off in the ancient world, man, because we knew who we were in the ancient world. This is why this is the worst captivity we've ever been in because we didn't know who we are as people, you know? And then when you tell this information uh, to, to Jake, it's mind blown, man. It's mind blown, you know? Go ahead, I Yeah, quick precept for you. This is Baruch chapter 4 and 28. But it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so be in return, seek him 10 times more. Mm -hmm. Meaning what? Get involved with the scriptures, man. Because we didn't always know this truth. We didn't always have this understanding. So it's about what now appreciate. You know, anything that you appreciate uh, grows and manifests, man. It's all about appreciation at the, at the end of the day. You know, go ahead. This is back in Isaiah chapter 63 and 1. Who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Mighty to save. Let's talk about Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah is the only one that's mighty to save, man. Malcolm X wasn't going to do it. Martin Luther King wasn't going to do it. Marcus Garvey ain't going to do it. All of these, you know, all of these uh, agents set up by Esau, the so-called white man, you know, giving false hope to our people, the Lord showed you that they uh, attempt to fail, man. There's only one person that can uh, deliver his people, and that's Yahweh Shah. His name is Yahweh Shah for a reason. He delivers, he saves, man. It's a moment over. Go ahead. Verse 2. Wherefore art thou red in thou apparel, and thou garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have trodden the wine pressed alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. That's right, the Yahweh Shah is doing a whole lot of killing, man. You know, Yahweh Shah is doing a whole lot of killing, man. You know, there's gonna be no gleaning grapes, man. The Lord is coming to destroy everything. You know, because even, you know, during the time, you know, in the ancient world, you know, we would leave some grapes as, as a form of welfare, as a welfare system. You know, so metaphorically, you know, when Yahweh Shah comes back, you know, when you get into, I believe, is that when you die, if you're not mistaken, you know, get, uh, get how it's is killing everything. Right, rightfully so. Because why? This devil has everything he got coming to him, man. You know, from buck breaking, you know, taking our women, raping them, you know, killing us off in captivity, chopping our eyes off, burning us, uh, sending postcards to one another in different plantations. Every covenant, breaking every covenant, you know, even with the North American Indians, you know, this, this devil, this devil just can't have enough, man. He owns all the natural resources, he owns all the real estate, he owns all the, pretty much, he's the prince of the air, you know, but it's still not enough for this devil, man. Now he wants to sow by way of an RFID microchip, which is the market of peace, man. You know, but that's going to be uh, uh, his last stop, so to speak. So where he feel like he's going to fulfill his belly, that's when your house by some your is going to interrupt his what you call so-called progress, man. 
hey, they're so afraid of us, and we're just, you know, men that sent to teach the word. You should be afraid of him that come. That's right. You're the one that's bringing, you're helping to bring him. Because now we're going into this age of uh, everybody being a transhuman, everybody being microchips, man. You know, this uh, artificial intelligence. You know, everything around you is, is uh, Wi Fi. You basically become Wi Fi, man. I saw this uh, video that can't be played on YouTube, and they were talking, you know, talking about that jabby jab. And, um, and we already knew this, but it's just more information that's coming out that the uh, nanotechnology is literally in the future. You know what I'm saying? And the guy was breaking it down, they got other different videos, they got a woman dissecting it, then they, they're testing it. You know, they went down to the micro sensor, the micro size of it to show you the little, the little bug, the, the little piano it is, you know? So this is, this this whole thing that they're, they're bringing us into, this new age of what Esau want to call it, all right? Which is a, a, a great reset. It's this technology world that says the Lord cannot have among us, all right? Because it's gone too far. Esau wants to sit in the seat of the Most High, man. He wants to be as if he is God and he can control us in the way that the most high would. You got to think of that, man. This is why we know that that RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Not just the RFID chip, but the microchips that are embedded inside the body, man. You know, the narrow link, the RFID uh, tag, uh, chip that goes in, man. This stuff that transmit information by radio frequency. You know, that, and that goes into your body. Now you can use your body to pay for things, man. That's the mark, man. And, 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 as, and as we see, like, uh, I, I was looking at this other video where they were saying, like, the, the, the pandemic has made technology ramp up to where, like, the dollar is damn near obsolete. It was like, you're using, uh, the usage rate of the dollar now is only at 20%. You know what I'm saying? It's down like 30% before the pandemic. So that shows you how much more things are going digital. You already know about the tone rules, they're about to make digital. You know what I'm saying? Going to a Walmart, you know what I'm saying? Self-checkout, all them shit's about to be digital. So on and so forth. And now, I was just looking on you know, this article real quick. And this is from, uh, this is Exios, this is from some AM, uh, FM radio station or whatever. And it says, uh, the digital dollar is now high priority for the Fed. The U.S. is starting to get serious about a central bank-backed digital currency. With recent comments from top officials laying out the strongest uh, uh, support yet. So what? They about to try to really push this thing and, and, and federalize it. So we're seeing where it's all heading towards that digital technology. And you're a part of that program, right? And because now you see like uh, all these different top CEO companies and different things like that they all invested in some type of cryptocurrency uh, uh all of all of the big wigs the million dollars millionaires billionaires they all elon musk they all put money with because why they know the inside scoop or where the future of this society is headed now the dollar is supposed to be backed by gold which we know the american dollar is no longer really backed by gold it's just a federal reserve note but now they said uh china is a, is the leader in actual gold currency so they're on top of America with real substantial money. So it's only left what what and they what trade some like twenty some thirty some twenty thousand debt. So it's only right to do away with this current system to bring in that digital wave. And right, uh, somebody just bring out uh, the chip script real quick. Revelations chapter thirteen verse sixteen. It says, and he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now, when you look at that, right, and it said, you're not gonna be able to buy nor sell, say if you have the mark, and it said, what about the number? When you gotta, like, cause I'll be looking at like YouTube where different people are like, oh, yeah, if you wanna donate me some Bitcoin, here's, here's my link. Right. And the link is a chain of numbers. And those numbers are gonna be attached to your RFID chip. So it all makes perfect sense. So it shows you that this digital technology is going towards the market of the beast, man. You, you can't get around this, man. When I was going over this one, I'm like, oh shit, this <laughs> makes perfect sense. Like, are you, there's no way you can get around that, man. No way. Everything deals with barcodes. So a number is a chain of numbers. It's a barcode. That's gonna be your assigned specific number 
for, for your, because now they say what? Digital wallets. Right, right. But what now, after the digital wallets come into play, it's gonna be around for a little bit. After the digital wallets is done, because they're gonna say people will be able to hack into it, now comes the chip in you, which is gonna have all of your digital information. And they started it off with the Jabby Jab. Yeah. And that has a, uh, I think each Jab has a significant code that's yours. Yeah. So they could trace it and say, okay, you had this, and you know. Exactly, and, and, and with this, they also eliminate now, say for instance, right, if this brother came to work for me or whatever, I might wanna pay him under the table. You know what I'm saying? So hey, I could just give him the cash under the table. Right. Esau can't track that. Right. But now through making everything digital, I can't get around giving him money under the table. I gotta, I gotta pass it through the blockchain. Right. So they have a ledger of everything and all the money that's coming out from it. You know what I'm saying? This is great. I got the definition for the blockchain. It says blockchain is a system of recording information in a way that makes it difficult or impossible to change, hack, or cheat the system. A blockchain is essentially a digital ledger of transactions that is duplicated and distributed across the entire network of computer systems on the blockchain. Hey, because what people was doing during this whole pandemic, EDDM, right. you know what I'm saying? All these different scams and stuff, and they some getting away with it. Some was dumb and made songs about it and about to do 99 years. You know what I'm saying? How the devil can you be with that check for you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so that that shows you that this has to be it, man. Because people have been getting over during a whole pandemic. Yo, billionaires became trillionaires, and right. millionaires became billionaires. Whenever a crisis, you gotta pay the fuck attention. Whenever a crisis happens, the rich get richer. Right. You can't tell me if something ain't up with that, man. But yet, people want to talk about, oh, I'm with that conspiracy theory. Think of the conspiracy is right before you. They doing the shit right before right. you. Right. That's how they run the world. Yeah. The conspiracy. You know, an underhand plot against the people. You know, the 1% versus the rest of 99. Uh, the movie hit Tom. Tom's yeah. funny. You know, yeah. he had to yeah. save his mother yeah. when she died because he didn't get to her in time to give her that transaction. Exactly. Exactly. Like, yeah, man. And they had the rich sections and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, when he got rich, he started going through the zones. And they had that big barricade yeah. that was up and it fall down and he go through. Hey, uh, the Twilight Zone, no, not the Twilight Zone, the uh, Black, Black Mirror. Damn, I forgot, I forgot the name of the episode already. Season three, the episode where, um, where basically you're, um, you're, you're you're living your life judged off of, um, you're living your life judged, judged off of, uh, man, not the words, man. When you tell the woman with the likes, they had to give you likes. Oh, oh, the, the, um, when you had to go oh, yeah, 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 social yeah. Shit. So, like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Social likes. Uh, Black Mirror went, went pretty much like, if, if you didn't like, if somebody like left a bad comment, your value as a person. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's social like, something. I, I know you're talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, well, yeah, because <laughs> they st they're starting what they call credit wor worthiness, <laughs> a credit worthiness system. Basically, credit score is determined by purchases yeah, um, it says credit worthiness system credit score is determined by purchases and viewpoints so now this credit system they want to see if you got good credit or bad credit by your viewpoints and the yeah. things that you purchase yeah. you know so basically if you on social media looking at this person you gotta have a bad credit score yeah. You know, or depending on what you're buying, <laughs> say you buy some gadgets, the survival kit, you gotta have a bad credit score. So this is called the credit worthiness system. Yeah, yeah, this is so so to credit. It. Yeah, just like how you said with Black Mirror, because China they have a, a system similar to it. Yeah. Or just like you have a, a, a DoorDash or Uber drive or whatever. Some fucking pints, music all night, smoking like right. cigarettes in here. Right. Two stars, <laughs> bad review. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's right. the same right. thing. That's yeah. going to be the new credit system. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In China, that's what I do. Like, that's what you do for to check out the restaurant. Check out the reviews. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. In terms of where you're going to go there. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's what I was gonna say, man. Yeah. Nah, nah, you good. It's so, 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 so,
Oh, in China, in China, um, in China, they basically have the uh, biometrics. So if you're walking down the street and you eat chewing some gum or candy and you just throw that shit on the ground, if that camera pick you up and it sees that, you're gonna get billed at your house, man. Yeah. You know, just like going through the, uh, the easy path. Yeah, going through the easy path, you're gonna take the You know? Yeah, so they're picking up on your biometrics. Yeah. You're just walking around and you're having to drop something. The litter, what they call it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You get billed yeah. for that, and that goes to show that their biometric system is on a hurdle. Yeah, and China, and China want to be the forefront of this thing, man. You know? And you got another thing now, it's called, uh, it says, uh, Real Life Dystopia, Microsoft's patent to re reanimate dead as chatbots as Black Mirror fans were. Because that was an episode in Black Mirror 2 to where, um, what's this? What's this, right? With that lady? Oh uh, nah, that's another one. Well, um, I think it, it, it was a couple, or whatever. So they had, you know, they had one of the little getaway thing, and uh, the husband never came home. So the lady, of course, she was distraught because she found out he died somehow. But um, they had this technology in the show where it would be able to basically, you know, go over all his social media oh, and yeah. um, create this like um, some type of uh, like voice animates some type of voice. Like they got Siri, they was able to create that through all his social media to make it seem like that you know that he's actually not dead yeah you know yeah. It, it basically made an artificial person yeah. based off your social media yeah oh yeah they downloaded yeah. into an artificial actual artificial body so yeah up. they want they was doing that with, with people that so rappers that died man downloading mm -hmm. their consciousness and how they are in the act and they put it into a, a, a robot and you can speak to it and it'll speak back to you with its own thoughts mm -hmm. but it's of that person so it would probably say what that person would say, mm. like if you ex 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 the costume, and it's in an artificial intelligent robot has his yeah. download that the robot would talk like him and say certain things. You'd be like, oh, it's sick. Yeah, man. It's crazy, man. Hey, Esau got power, man. He got power, but his power is not greater than your how about show me how to shot. You know? Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. He, knowledge is increased, man. Esau been uh, uh, been knowing things for a long time, but now on our level, they're, give, they, they're showing us what they really wanted to show us a long time ago, man. They want to put us on this uh, this this high level of uh, technology, which they had for years, and it's all because they want more power and control, man. All right? This is why we know that that chip is the mark of the beast. And it's a form of power. The chip, it literally hijacks your brain waves, man. Okay? It, 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 it does something to your spirit, man. Yep. And if you don't, hey, do, hey do, do the research, man. Hey, these Edomites are saying this, man. You know? Not every, hey, not every Edomite uh, uh, is the 1%, <laughs> you know? They, they're upset too because their world is being taken away from them. Yeah. You know, they was on top while we on the bottom, while we in the same world, man. All right, they got millions and they got businesses and Jake got a buy from them, but now they're losing. They're falling down to us. It's gonna be either rich or poor. So they upset. And that's Esau for you, ripping off his own, his own nation of people, you know, because they want that power and control, man. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, Daniel 12 and one. And at that time, so Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as was never, such, not, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. You know, going to the all uh, Esau's technology, we got this movie called Gemini with uh, Will Smith. Oh, now yeah. Will Smith, he was like this top uh, assassin. So what um the I guess the CIA or whatever, you know, in the movie, what they did was they, you know, he was a really good fighter. You know, he could shoot. In the beginning of the movie, he had shot somebody uh, two miles away and the train was moving and shit. So Esau replicated that, put it into, you know, his soldiers, except the only bad thing about uh, Will Smith in the movie is that he had a conscience. So Esau took that shit away, man. You know, so that's, that's what you're going to see out here, man. Super soldiers. Yeah, that's why they had that movie on Netflix. What was that, Outside the Fence? Oh yeah, yeah. That nigga wasn't even a human, man. Mm -hmm. No, he ran, he 
ran off of the chip that was uh, put in him. He was like a super soldier too, man. Plus he had the robot uh, 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 soldiers already too. You know, it's the reason why Esau is, is so prideful, man. He has so much shit that, that we don't even all know about, man. Should, when the brother put up on the TV that rocket that launched off, he came back down like, what the fuck? I didn't know about that. You know? And I got some. So Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4, says, Behold, the soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yet also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. And that's why he won't demonize us. He feels like he don't have to stand for this, man. You know, he doesn't have to hear this. This is his uh, 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 kingdom, you know? He doesn't have to be condemned by uh, peons like us. That's that's what he's thinking, man. Yeah, that's why the first thing Esau wants to do away with is that God gene, man. You know, because he don't want you to have faith. He don't want you to think, you know, uh, past, past his society, you know? Hey, what's that movie uh, with Christopher Bell? Uh, yeah, equilibrium. equilibrium. Yeah, you know? He don't want you to think past his society, man. It's his way or... or it can't possibly be a way out of it, man. Out, out of this place. That's why his brother's going into. When you when you have, when you're somebody that um thinks, you know, when you're somebody that sees society for what it is, you know, you got to kind of dumb yourself down and say, oh, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. What's wrong with that? Yeah, you know? that's a good point. And that's why that scripture... um. Surely oppression makes a wise man mad, because you know you look at uh, you look at democracy and the way that democracy runs the world, is like the majority vote. So if the majority of the, of, of the people are idiots, then the, then the world is going to go in this direction, and, and and people are looking at it like this is bullshit, and there's nothing they can do about it because they ain't in the, in the majority, and that's frustrating, man. And that, that movie Equilibrium shows you, it's really showing you what Esau wants to, wants how he wants things to be, man. You know, like uh. Aaron Russo, he probably wasn't the only one, you know, that, that the Rocket Foles was telling his plans to, man. He probably had other people, you know, who they was uh, uh, talking to, but Aaron Russo was the one that, you know, that spilled the beans, man. But they probably was spilling the beans also to these other producers and so, so forth like that, that they took a liking to. And then that's why they make these movies, man, to show you people and warn y'all what's to come, what's to come here, man, you know? I was gonna say that's that um precept in Psalm talking about how the wicked, wicked boldness of his uh yeah. heart's desire. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he does go through those blue screens. You know, plus not to mention he tries to be like the most high. The most high has prophecies. So he tries to uh, 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 lay down prophecies too through the green screen, man. Word. Hey, you got Bill Gates and uh, oh, there's gonna be a plague in five yeah. years and all this stuff. Yeah. You be seeing these guys out here prophesying. I'm like, yeah. man, listen. They'd be like, you know, I hate to be right all the time. Like, shut the hell up, man. Right. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, this is uh, we're going in on Esau trying to be like the Most High, think he's uh, uh, good with all the wonderful wonders he does in the earth. This is uh, Revelations chapter 13. Revelations chapter 13. Verse 13, and he doth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. It's like, let me start from 12. And he, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and him and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast who deadly wound was healed. And he, and he doeth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image of the beast which had the wound by by a sword and did live and, and i could add because um i was going to this but it's, it's such a you know a good video it's called all worlds of bankers Wars. and that makes sense of that uh, precept going into how he saw he basically gets everybody under his uh, helm through that cash, man. You know, because um, even um, back in World War One and World War Two, you had Germany that was they was flourishing, you know. But the British, the British didn't like that, so what? They caused war to bring that country to their knees, you know. This is Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse. I'll start at verse twelve. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weak, weaken the nations? 
For thou hast said thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt thy my throne above the stars of, of Yahweh. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation, congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to, to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did that did shake kingdoms? Yeah. yeah that's Esau, man. That's the so-called white man. Right? They did shake kingdoms. That brother, uh, you was reading uh, Revelations 13. I'll read it again. Revelations 13. And 13, it says that he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. All right, and that was that fire that came down from heaven was when NATO was bombing Yugoslavia. All right, from planes, man. All right, symbolic stage current war, uh, world war. You know, and that was that fire coming down, man. Yeah, uh, it says that the airstrikes lasted from March 24th to June uh, June 10th, 78 days, man. It says the bombing continued until an agreement was reached. So that's Esau, man. Um, real quick, because because the scriptures say who's going to make war with the beast, you know? And this is why we pray for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and deliver us, man. Because there's nobody else that can deliver us from the power of this, 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 uh, these Edomites. All right, they got great power, man. They don't, and they're, they're allies, all right, band together. They're forming this new world. They're the ones that's calling it, pushing this thing out there for everybody to be microchip convention. All right, this one world government, they call it, uh, one world religion, okay? Um, this is Revelations chapter uh, 13, and uh, verse, verse four, it says, and they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast and they worship the beast saying who is like unto the beast who is able to make war with him so who's able to make war with the beast that's your howard shot he's gonna make war with nato man okay the e what is it the, the eu okay what is the eec economic european economic community mm -hmm. or the uh common markets if i'm saying that right so lock in all right it's NATO. It's a conclusion for you. Yeah. Well, Psalms 58 and 6 says, Break their teeth, O Most High, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Yeah, and that teeth is their military, man. That's their might. You know, when when an animal, his power is in his bite. So Esau's power within his bite, you know. So if you break the teeth out, you break their military down, he has no power. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? He's going to run and hide in the mountains. <coughs> He's going to go up under the ground, you know. Gotcha. No, no, I won't. Uh, Daniel 2 and 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain with our hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold great God had made known to the king which shall come to pass hereafter and the dream is certain and the interpretation thereof sure. Hey, there you had the dream. He had that knowledge, man. The Lord gave him that the interpretation of, of Nebuchadnezzar's dream, man, mm. of these different kingdoms. And right now, we're in that last leg. We're in that foot, man. Okay? We're in that foot that mixed with clay and iron. Yep. All right? We're in the second leg of Rome. America is Rome all over again. All right, and Yahweh Shai is that stone that's going to break that up, man. Okay, real quick, I'll bring this up. This is Re uh, Revelations 12 and 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. That's NATO. It says, and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceiveth the whole world 
he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him, man. So you you devils are out of here, man. Now I'm watching this with the You know, you devils are gone. Okay? Yahweh Shai is gonna come and take you out of power. He is gonna make war with you, man. You know, because they're so mighty. Matter of fact, uh, the brother uh from VA, uh Cam from Karab. Yeah, you know, slack your brother. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh that brother he was sending me information and he sent me uh something I wanted to do a lesson on. I got I gotta go back to I forgot. Uh where I, I oh in DC in DC they building a tower of Babel, man. No. Oh, you see that? They they wanna I forgot what yeah, I gotta look at the article again. But they have a structure of it where it goes in a circle and the stairways that go literally like how it looked in, in the ancient times, and they yeah. want to put that in DC. Oh, yeah, they got, they have to build uh, like an Amazon, something with Amazon with it. There was a certain building to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, was yeah, yeah. like an right. Amazon building that was built in the same exact yeah, way, like the yeah, Tower of Babel. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. man. Crazy. And so that's mockery, man. You know, these devils are so proud that they're spitting in the in the Lord's face, so to say, man. Yeah. They don't care. They they blood. They they calling the Lord's bluff, man. And that's why they gonna want to touch the Lord's anointing. The scriptures say, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. See, they want to touch us because they want to provoke him. You know, but that's the thing you don't want to do. Hey, the Lord says he's the, another name, a title, another title for the Lord is uh, the destroyers of the Gentiles, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 12. Wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria and the glory of his high looks. You know, and that is still the modern day Assyrians are these Edomites, you know, uh, for their pride. For he saith, by, my, by, the, by the strength of my hand, I have done it. And by my wisdom, for I am prudent and I have removed the bounds of the people and have robbed their treasures. And I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man trying to take all the credit for himself and not even giving giving the how about shimmy i shy the credit for even putting him on top and, and ruling this earth so it says and by and my hand and my hand hath found as a nest the riches of the people as one gather of eggs that are left have i gathered all the earth and there was none that moved the wing or opened the mouth or peeped shall the axe boast itself against him that he was there with or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it, as if the rod should shake itself against them that lift it, or as if the shaft, or as if the staff should lift itself, shall lift up itself as it were no wood, you know? So you're just a tool to the Lord, man, you know? And, 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 and trying, to, trying to stop Yahweh Shai from coming back is, 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 is trying to, no, it's trying to stop prophecy all right, it's kind of like trying to stop your high with shy, man. You know, something that was destined and prophesied for him to come back and, and and rule the world forever and ever and ever. You trying to stop, man? You can't stop this. Yeah. You know, you can't stop prophecy, man. Uh, yeah, this is real quick. This is Daniel's two and nineteen. <laughs> then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in the night vision. Then Daniel blessed Yahweh of heaven. Daniel answered and said, "Blessed be the name of Yahweh for heaven and ever." For wisdom and might are his. Yeah. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Yeah. So it's the Lord that set up kings. Yeah. And he destroyed kings. Who set you up? He saw, matter of fact, who gave you that blessing? Isaac, man. <laughs> Which we know to also be, also to be Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. So who's going to come take that from you? Yahweh Shai. Sure. So Isaiah chapter 34, uh, verse 2, it says, For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. And I mean, that's straight up, man. You know? Like, it's, it's no secret, no secret break. That's straight up, man. You can't can't get around that. It says, so the Lord's gonna return, man. He, he's not returning for peace. You want that smoke, man. Oh, Lord, how was Shai coming back saying, What's good? <laughs> What's good? What you got? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's good? Take what? <laughs> Who are you with? It says, Isaiah 34 and 2, For the indignation of the Lord okay. is upon all nations 
and his fury upon all their armies, he hath utterly destroyed them, he hath delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. That's the, gonna be a lot of killing, man. You know, the smell, the, hey, I don't know if brothers ever been in the army, I haven't, you know, and been to war, so some brothers, you know, been in the army, been to war, I remember brother, remember, uh, Brother, we, we went to Chicago a long time ago. Uh, what's the name, man? I ain't talking to the brother. Do the brother. Watch your clock. Yeah, that brother was telling us stories, man. <laughs> hey, Shalom to the brother. The Watch your clock, man. He speaks to you. Wow, man. But uh, when he was out there, that brother came out rescue. You know, he got stranded and shit. On our way out there, remember? You know what I'm saying? But being around that brother, that brother's spiritual, man. That brother was telling us stories, man. Uh, he was in the army and shit. And, man, you know, we, I ain't, I ain't never, listen, bro. I'm from the hood. I ain't seen no dead bodies. I mean, I've seen them laid out. But I, I don't know that life, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, but, you know, when you been in war, man, and dead bodies, people blown up, seeing something, man, yo. You can imagine what the Lord is going to do, man. That's something, man. All right, one more, going back to uh, how there was war in heaven, right? The Azed, and I'm talking about Satan fighting against the Most High, man. That's like a preposterous, man. You know? Uh, verse 4 says, And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down, as the leaf falleth off of the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Hey, 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 that's how you know Lord Jake too, man. <laughs> Alright, because you know how Jake be like, yo, I'm gonna shake this shit up. You know? yeah. I'm about to shake this shit up. Look, nigga in the hood. I'm about to go in there and shake this shit up. <laughs> hey, the Lord gonna shake shit up, man. Literally, the earth is gonna rock to and fro, man. You know? Hey, he saw falling from power. It's like watching a leaf fall from a tree, man. It go, like a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. No more of him, man. Hey, even when he was talking about, oh, uh, I shall leave all the dead bodies and they stink shall come up. Well, well like DMX would say, I'm going to leave you where nobody can smell you. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was from one dead body. So imagine millions of people, man. Right. An army of soldiers, man. Right. Of dozens, of hundreds and hundreds, man. Right. Fighting in that war, man. Hey, that's going to be something big. When the Lord allowed that start to, it's beating on the door. The food is cooking and simmering, but when it starts boiling and that popping comes from that stove, man, that's when it's gonna be like, damn, yo, know? yeah. yeah, hey, even the force of the chip, man. Yeah. Uh, I'll one more verse says, "For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment." Yeah, and Esau, you're the people of the Lord's curse, man. You got leprosy. You're the only people in the world that look like that. You know, and every nation has a byword against you, man. They call you a blue-eyed devil, you know, and all other sorts of names, man. What do they think of? They had this... Red this, devil, this, Satan. Yeah, all of that, man. You have a curse of the Lord, which is leprosy, man. Rich group goes back to, uh, well, apostles, you know, like apostles, I say they have a clean, a clean uh, leprosy, you know. Like, that's how we know also, spiritually, you go back to Cain, man. You go back to Cain, man. Cain had leprosy, man. All right, because he slayed Abel. What did Esau want to do with Jacob? He said, I will slay him when my father is at rest. And Esau has been trying to slay us ever since. You know? And not the scripture say in Isaiah, uh, what is it, 14? Uh, he that have a continued stroke. Yeah, yeah. You know? Esau, a perpetual hatred, man. <laughs> Here we are. Where the boogeyman? There ain't no boogeyman, man. He ain't doing nothing. You doing something, man. We're talk about the the kings. It's Isaiah chapter 24, verse 21. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. Hey, the host. You say the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. Well, you saw it as an army too. So the Lord will punish the Lord of armies. He says, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners and gathered in a pit and shall be burnt up in the prison, and after many days shall they be visited. Hey, and that's why he saw hate the fact that when we say they're gonna go into slavery, even when um, 
uh, Elder Apostle Rumla, I, I was watching the show, and he was going over that uh, that uh, that video. You seen the, the, the video where uh, they were talking about us. The, the guy that was actually speaking and saying what, what about the Israelites. He, if, to me, it's just in the spirit. I, looking at it, it felt like to me he didn't even want. He was he was upset to say it because it hurted him because he, he was breaking down like you know what we believe in, and he was like they believe that that the white people are going to go into slavery. It was like, I mean, it wasn't that dramatic, but just watching it that first time, I was like, look, he hurt by it, you know? And they scared by that, man, because that's what they ultimately scared of, man. Here it is. You laughed at us, man. You said we believe in a physical power. But why are you scared now for it? You see what I'm saying? If, if this is not real, like people, if, if why are you taking us seriously? If this is, you know, if, if the Bible is not true. Because in all reality, if you're a carnal man, you can look at us and say, ain't nobody coming from up there. They ain't never gonna come. Y'all do as a matter of fact, the the uh the, the, the Pan-African niggas, man, uh Sarnetta and them people that be coming through there, through his platform, was speaking that way against us, man. You know, them guys believing or I think what was it, Paul Light and saying uh, some shit, or one of them saying that uh Yahweh Shai ain't never gonna come and crack no clouds. He ain't coming back that way he laughing at us, man. About a big fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was somebody. I forgot what I saw that, man. But hey, if if this is not true, then why are they scared for, man? We're, we're literally telling you we're looking for something or looking for uh, 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 a power to come into our room and deliver us. Think about that. You know? Yeah. Like, like, we're, we're not saying we're going to put up arms and we're not militant, man. No, dumb niggas is militant, man. That's acting as if they prophets, man. You think about it, man. We're literally saying that some something is coming to deliver us. Why are you speaking? Yeah, because they know it to be true. That's right. And they, they, they're terrified of it, man. You know? Yeah, you wouldn't. Oh, my bad. You know, but they want to create a narrative, you know, to try to get the people on their side. That, you know, because... He saw at the end of the day, man, this, this nigga, he, 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 he really cares about what people think, man, you know, and, and, and that's the problem. You know, he, he's all he's paranoid, man. That's why he got these devices when he's listening in on conversations and, and, and the Alexia shit, you know, and all this and everything else. Though. And this is why they are they are even expanding on, on the, the algorithms on, 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 on the videos, man. You know, so now they expanded the, the list of things that they're, they're picking up and, 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 and taking pages down, man, you know. But um, when you talk about uh, um, destruction, all right, I'm pursuing to um, Isaiah 34th chapter, you know, I'm gonna read down to the bottom of it. After, after everything that the Lord had said, let's read this. This is um, Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read, none one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate for, the, for my mouth it had commanded and his spirit it had gathered them. But the point is, though, that, that every single one of these prophecies that we're reading about, man, is going to come to pass, man. Yeah. You can't get around that, man. Hey, the Lord going to, hey, they're going to persecute certain brothers, man. Brothers got to be strong. But it ain't over, man. That ain't it. All right? You know, they are going to go into World War III. They're going to have to fight against these other nations, man. The Hawashai is going to come ultimately in those chariots, man. Everything has to pass, man, in order for this place to pass away. It's going to real quick. Gonna come to find out that this this damn devil hates the Bible, man. It's gonna he's gonna come say it. He's really gonna come out openly, man. He hates the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? He's against the scriptures, man. You know that's essentially what he said. So all of this here, this this Roman Catholic, uh, this Roman Catholicism, it's, it's all a farce, man. It's all that have been a farce, man. And that goes into the the, the false prophet, man. Uh, yeah. Um, pursuant to Revelations, man. Mm -hmm. You know. That this whole, this whole, uh, um, the whole thoughts of this man is going to be found out, man. And you're going to find out this man is, a, uh, is, is a, that these are ungodly children, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you got that. Oh, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter, two, chapter 49, verse 12. Oh, verse, uh, verse 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled. And his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Esau's going to be find out, like you just said. Everybody's going to know this damn devil is just a trickster, completely. Hey, get out of Isaiah 47. Oh, okay. Read that real quick. That's why I thought you read. Right, quick. Like another reason why Esau's scared as hell, man. 
Um, now here it is, man. We're telling him, you know, what he's gonna do as he's doing it, man. Right? As far as uh, uh, implementing that RFID chip, that's the plans of these elites. So, and it's like, it's like, yo, who's who's leaking this to these guys? Like, who is these guys, man? How do they how do they know this? And they know that we're coming out the scriptures, you know, uh, uh, telling forth what they're gonna do as they're doing it. You know, so they're like, damn, they something's up with these people, man. If they know what we're doing. And then if we're telling them that, and it's coming to pass as they're doing it, then they must know that everything else that we're saying is going to come to pass as well. As far as them going into slavery, man. So that, that, that's what's up there. I got these damn devils shook, man. Yeah, I saw videos where, um, where uh, you know, some people believe that that this uh, that nanotechnology is the mark of the beast. And they're saying that because he saw, you know, because they know that everybody knows about the chip, that's why they push that jabby jab to get everybody plugged up. And now I noticed uh, somebody sent me a post that said, I think around March 31st, everything will start opening back up. That reminds me, if that happens, that reminds me what Bill Gates said. Bill Gates said once, I think 70%, I'll mark my word, I think he said 70%, 70, 70, 80, 70, 80%. Once they get the jabby jab, then everybody else has to get it. You see what I'm saying? And then when they start opening things back up, got to look at it like hey i mean where, where if you know when things do if it do whatever they're gonna have this system new system in place you know in order to get in certain places you're gonna have to have that that contract that card to show your uh credentials man you know and did you get the jabby jab or did or you did not you know they might even have the way you know i'm just hypothetically speaking but you gotta look forward to these things man you know but they might even have it to where in the restaurants, you know how they had non-smoking and smoking? They might have the the the, 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 the jabs, and then they may have the non-jabs, and they got to separate you and shit. Yeah, and, and, and the non-jab yeah. section is all shitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> treated, disrespected. This is dirty as hell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> might be outside. But it's a dangerous game to play, man, for a lot of these businesses that are going to really try to get on, um, get on board with that, man. Because it's like I said, because we are probably going to be turning down a lot of customers, man. Because there's going to be a lot of people that are not going to have actually have the job, man. It's really a sense of reality, man. You know, this whole this whole uh, 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 endeavor for them to have the X amount of people to be jabbed by a certain amount of time. Look, we have things happening, man. Look, look, they have a problem, problems with the logistics. They, they got shit that went bad. This stuff got to be uh, um, hold at a certain temperature. You know, uh, um, they ran out. And it's not enough being made. There's a lot of things that the Lord is throwing, throwing little little things out, out there, man, to, 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 to have your enterprise not be able to uh, 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 come to its fruition, so to speak, man. You know, but we know that ultimately it's going to go, come to the mark of the beast, though. But it's a dangerous game to play when you're trying to uh, um, uphold these standards with these businesses, man. You know, because these businesses need all, all of the help that they can get. So now they're actually going to be turning down customers, really? Let's see. Let's yeah. see if it's gonna hold up, man. You know, that's, that's more further destruction of the of, of these little um, um smaller um, um stores, man. You know, and this and the big box stores are gonna be the only one only thing standing. You know. Yep. Okay, quick precept. This is Matthew 24 and 32. Now learn the parable of the fig tree when the branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. Ye know that summer is not. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. It says, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So Yahweh Shai is telling you, and this is his words, it's written in red. He's telling us that he's gonna come when no man, when they least expect. You know, somebody just second this in the fifth chapter, you know? But we of the whole four elect, being a watchman, okay, Standing on our watch, we're not going to be taken as a thief, man. Yeah, they had a beautiful example of that in um, that uh, that one show, man. Oh, I forgot, man. But she was pretty much getting her hair done. You know what I'm saying? Then she got everybody got a uh, message on their phone that missus was incoming. You know, she left her damn uh, 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 boyfriend 
on plan on on land while she got on the plane. So I, f I forgot what the movie. I forgot what the show was called. That was a good example of it, man. Our people ain't gonna be expecting shit. They're gonna be getting their hair day, playing playing basketball at the park and shit, and then missiles just gonna come and tear their asses up. Man. Real quick, it says, "Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away, because it's the Lord that endureth forever." Matter of fact, the scripture says in Luke four one, "It's the Lord that endureth forever." All right, so the word of the Lord going to stand because even after he destroyed this place, guess what? It's the kingdom. It's the word of the Lord. It's prophecies that's going to go on when we're in the kingdom, man. You know, bring it. It, it got to be fulfilled when we bring it in the Gentiles. Um, uh, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 60. 60. Yeah, Isaiah 60. Bring it in the forces of the Gentiles. That's a prophecy, man. That got to happen when we in power. You know? It talks about, um, about a lamb and the um, sheep going to get together. Right. So, yeah, uh, the lions gonna eat grass and stuff. The snake gonna eat dust. Right. Right. Uh, children are gonna be playing with with with, with animals. You know. Yeah. Yep. The doors. Uh, yeah. Do yeah. Doors are gonna be unlocked. You know. Who needs to lock doors in the kingdom? You so know. What that means? When the kingdom is established, the word is still there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. The law goes into effect, man. Yeah. You know, the, the law has it, as it is intended to uh, uh, run the earth and govern the earth, man, in righteousness, man. It's, it's going to stand in that day, man. You know, and you, and you eat a bite, man, you're going to be found out, man. And, and your people, go, you people are going to understand, you're going to find out, man, who this book belongs to, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because everybody else is, is going to throw it away. So guess what? The Lord said in, in that day that the, um, the true worshipers right. should worship the first Heavenly Father right. in spirit and in truth, man. So you go, so all you people, all you church people, all you, you Christians, when you, when you talk about persecution, man, you're going to find out who that really applies to, man. Okay? It don't apply to you, man. Okay? You, you people are going to understand that you have no part in these scriptures, man. And you, you people are also going to be found out that you're spiritually and literally, uh, 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 you, you can't even uh, be able to uh, uh, comprehend or apprehend or uh, 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 comprehend scripture, man. You're not going to be able to do it, man. You know? Yeah, I got something for you. Um, um, I was going to bring this out earlier. Acts chapter 5, verse 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, ye cannot overthrow it. You can't overthrow it, man, because it is of, of the Most High, man. And you people are going to find it out, man. They, they, well, he found that out. Yeah. Because the apostles tell us the stories what happened, you know, with one West, man. And they, they infiltrated. Right. They exactly. all, they, they can't, their brothers broke up. Yeah. You know, the yeah. Lord kept the, his elect. Yeah, certain guys sold out. Mm -hmm. Now they're still teaching, but they're teaching false doctrines. You know, that's clear to see. But guess what? The Lord kept that His elect. Remnant. You know, He kept that remnant, that that um that that truth, right there. And yeah. it's what blossomed to this day, year 2021. You know, that's the disciple. He, wasn't he breaking oh, it down about yeah, what happened with yeah. West and shit? Because he used to go back to the um to the old schools and, and during the studies, and he was saying how. You know, um, kill a priest or something. Yep, would kill, yeah, yeah. Kill, would kill a priest. And um, he was saying how, you know, they even got to kill, you know, like, your honor. You know, they, they took a curse, man. Hey, I remember, I remember when, um, when um, one lawyer came down to the main camp, man, and he was speaking about how, he was talking about how he knew when Nate took that bag, man. You know, mm -hmm. he, t he talked about that secret meeting, man. Yeah, you know, I, before he passed, he talked about that, man. I remember years ago, there was a video where the guy, I don't know if he was the highest but he wore glasses and he told the story about uh Bonnie and Bubba Lai getting into it and the splitting of the money that money they sold out and maybe he stood sideways and he told the story I remember seeing that video years ago and he told I think he was in between them both he was staying at his house or something like that and he said that uh, they got they kind of fell out with each other because I think Yohanna took all the money from um Bubba Lai yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, you fight over all over, over these money. And uh, you know, hey man, um those guys ICBK, they're gonna be the fall guy, man. Just like how they, they pumped up Trump Trump, you know, and the Trump they they had used Trump for that purpose and then what happened, man? Now now all the people, all the Trump supporters and so, so called they're they're insurrectionists now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So right. now they, guys like ICBK, you know, they're gonna be the fall guy, man. Okay, so when this whole thing breaks, oh, um, bust open, man. Guess whose face is gonna be posted up on on there? Those guys. They're gonna, they wanna, they want the narrative. They want, the, they want those guys' faces to be with the narrative that they're trying to paint. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and that's crazy because they put, they the ones that put Trump in office. Why they allow him to run? If he's so bad, right? And if he got people out, you, you let him campaign, 
and build his own camp, his followers. And because they don't like him, and all of a sudden he went out and they, you know, he, he lost in the last the, the latest election. And now they casted every face that voted for him as a terrorist, basically. Why did, but y'all don't want to put him in office. Y'all yeah. let him run to yeah. be the president of the world. Y'all let him be, what was it, for four years? Yeah, four yeah years. for four years he was the president. And now all of a sudden, anybody who liked him is a damn terrorist. Yeah. Yeah. And they painted it perfectly, man. Because they, they, they play on the emotions of the people, man. Okay? This, this man is, 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 a, is a wizard at, at, at playing on the emotions of people, man. He does these, these studies, man. So when, when Trump first ran, that was... When, and, and the rhetoric that he was pushing out was that last stronghold of white supremacy, man. And, and people are, 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 were feeling that. So, so they, so they gravitated, they, they, uh, uh, gravi uh, um, they gravitated to, towards that, man. You know, and, and, and they had, he had, they had that run, man. He propped them up, you know. And these people, they, they, listen, these people, they know that they're losing their, 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 their grip on this country, man. They know they're losing it, man. You know, they know what's coming. These, these, these uh, a lot of these uh, Trump supporting Edomites, man, they know pretty much a, a lot of stuff that we know. You know what I'm saying? Not for scripture wise though, but they know the the um the back um back door plans and right. everything else that's going on. Because, they know about because that. Because they man. because they are die die hard patriots that believe in their so called freedom or, or right. privilege right. to be to have their own. And they know that with this fourth industrial revolution being implemented, all right, is to take away everything that they own. Right. So they upset about it, man. So they're gonna fight. Cause they used to they old privilege owning way, you know. It's done. It's done. Yeah. It's done. White supremacy, as you know, it is it's dead. It's dead, man. It's dead. You know. And uh, uh really, like I said, man, we like this really this place is really run by by, by Israelites, man. You know, the the, the the majority of people that are here on, uh, in this country, man, are Israelites, man. You know. And then they have to find a plan and how to, like they said, like the story before, how they got to deal with us wisely, man. You know, and this is what they're doing. This is the plans that they're doing to deal with us wisely, man. Hmm. You know, okay, because we, because we basically grown enough, but they got to, they know what's coming. They already know what's coming. So anybody coming up against this truth, man, we don't want to deal with you. We don't want to talk with you, man. We want to talk to the real, the gate, the nobles, man, the ones that really know what's going on. The ones that setting up these other people to come out here and act as minions, man, to try to stop this world, man. Okay, y'all don't know a damn thing, man. You, you, you better ask your boss what's going on, okay? Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't pay to be an employee of Esau, man, because what he'll use you, and then he'll ch he'll spit you out. Look what he's doing. Look at look at look at look at Cuomo, man. Look at this guy. And now he's painted all over the news to be to be this uh, 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 um sex offender. Now he's getting alleg allegations came out on some Bill Cosby shit like 20 years ago. And we're, we're, why? Because what? They don't need them no more. Right. Now they, <laughs> they they spit you out. We're gonna get on some uh, Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, chapter 13, verse three. The rich man have done wrong, and yet he um, threateneth withal. The poor is wrong, and he must entreat also. If thou be for his profit, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. If thou have anything, he will live with thee. Yea, he will make thee bear and not be sorry for it. <laughs> He's not going to be sorry for it, man. You know? He's not going to be sorry for it, man. You're serving a purpose, this man's purpose, man. You know? And it just goes to show you, man, that you, you, you people, you somebody, you, you, uh, 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 Joe Lunchbox, uh, uh, Six Pack Joes, man, y'all don't know nothing. Y'all ain't running nothing, man. Yeah. Y'all, all, all y'all liberties are being taken away right from underneath you, man. Yeah. You know? You're going to have to fight for them. I mean, you're going to, those guns, those guns, they, they're coming out of your hands, man. You're going to have to give them up, man. You're going to have to fight for it, man. You're going to have to fight to keep it, man. You yeah. know? Yeah, well, and, 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 and the plans, man. Uh, just talking about Trump or whatever, and I was just looking at this article and you just said that, um, Trump still remains the Republicans' uh, top yeah. choice for presidential election for 2024. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why they thought, that's why they wanted to impeach him, Five. so he yeah. couldn't yeah. run again. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. They're, they're, trying, to, they're trying to make sure. No, no, no. no. They're trying to make sure that uh, uh, this, it, it, it doesn't happen again. Right. To where it, it that rise up in this man, and, and, and they know that he has a um, strong following, man. Well, look, he actually won the election, man. He actually really did win the election, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, uh, this is Matthew, back in Matthew 24 and 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of the day and hour knoweth no man, know not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. But as in the days they were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage 
until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field and one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour the Lord do come. And why is it one being taken and the other left? Because now it's, just, it's about an election. You know, it's about being of that number, that one third, man. You know, so we're in a race. And this race is uh, not a 40 yard dash, it's a marathon. It's about enduring, you know, growing within the seasons and getting to that, you know, staying uh, 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 on fire in the truth, man. All right. You know, so, hey, on this deliverance, it's not going to be like ancient Egypt where all Israelites is coming on out. It's about the election. So we're not teaching and for every Israelite, man. If they could get it and receive it, hey, may the Lord be with them. You know, may they come and repent and change the way, change their way and follow the power of Shemel Shah. But if not, like the apostles say, we're moving on, man. Right? So it says, uh, verse verse uh, 43, but know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man come, who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom the Lord, blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so soon. Yeah, what you say, when the Lord comes, shall he find faith on the earth? Before the Lord comes back, man, there's going to be a lot of people talking shit against the prophets, man. You know, and say, where's the promise of his coming? I believe with that Peter's, mm -hmm. you know, since the father fell asleep, uh, you know, all things continue as they were. You know, so it's gonna be a lot of scoffing, man. But hey, we gotta maintain our our uh, faith, man. We gotta uh, you know look at things through the spirit. And then even the scriptures say um, they should say peace and safety, but then sudden destruction. Just like how they also say, uh, <coughs> evil shall not partake, no prevent us. You know. Exactly. Okay, I'll read that real quick. Uh, Amos chapter nine. Verses 10, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, which a lot of you, yeah, and that's the thing, man, you, know, you so-called Christian church, right? Or, or you say the Lord's Statue of Commandments is done away with, but I was say all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, by abusing the Lord's ways, man, you know? When you constantly, continually, uh, 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 willfully sin, you know there's Lord's Statue of Commandments that you can easily keep. Nobody's forcing you to eat pork. You know, you don't have to do that. But they constantly do it, indulge in it, and, and, and they love to love to have you so. So that makes you a sinner, man. Right? It says, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake, nor prevent them. And that's the, and that's the, you know, being in that scoffing frame of mind. Right? We, and it, 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 our people know what we about, man. You know, they know we pretty much rebuking our evilness, man. But they say that's not gonna stop them from coming to go. You know, it's not gonna stop them from doing what they gotta do, man. But they sat, uh, sadly mistaken, man. The Lord is not not to be messed around with. You know, so that's why now, you know, you're gonna cry unto the Lord, but it's gonna be too late, man. Right? You're gonna wish that you hearkened uh, unto us. First Peter, chapter four, verse seventeen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and sinner appear? Mm. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to him and well doing as unto a faithful creator. And if I may add, you know, but their, their destruction is going to uh, be aligned with what their fear is. You know what I'm saying? Because when we read Proverbs, the first chapter, the Lord tells us that he's going to mock when your fear comes, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so what you dread most, you know, in, 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 in your mindset, the Lord is going to allow it to the Lord, man. You know, and that's, and that's just straight skinny of this. You might get angles, 5 and 18. You know, because you
because you got yeah, because you got a lot of people out there, you know, that 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 do desire the end of the Lord because their 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 imagination of what heaven is is not what it is. You know, here it is. They don't they don't rehearse the righteous acts. You know, they don't follow the they don't follow the law, statutes, commandments to the best of their ability. Yet they're looking for a, a white Jesus, or what they call a white Jesus, so-called white Jesus, to deliver them. You know, from the said perils, man. It is the, 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 the devil in whom they look up to, you know, the Heavenly Father gave them the power, you know, to bring the ruckus. They looking for that, that devil to pretty much save them, man. So in Proverbs 10 and 24, the fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him. Yeah, the fear of the wicked is going to come upon him. Essentially, what's the fear of the wicked? Slavery, man. You know, that's why this devil, you know, creates these problem reaction solution scenarios to happen because he doesn't want to go into slavery. Why do you think all of these uh, crab shrimp, uh, lobsters, seaside shrimp, trio feasts, and all that on the red lobster? Because he know, he know you Jax is going to run, you know, to your nearest red lobster and buy all of that shit up, man. You know, so the more you Jax keep eating that bullshit, the further you're away from your power. And then Esau feel like there's one on the scoreboard for him. You know, why you think he promotes uh, drug use within the communities, uh, the, the Israelites' communities? You know what I'm saying? Why you think he promotes murder by way of the music? Because a lot of you niggas, it is, it was a whole pandemic last year. And I feel like when it came down to the music, the expression that nigga came on, that's why he had to get his ass out of here. Uh, uh, there, there was more uh, uh, killings, you know, amongst the urban community, you know, in 2020, in a pandemic when everybody's supposed to be in the house. But, but, but why was there more killers? Because of the music, man. The music was promoted, you know, by, pretty much by way of them Chicago niggas, man. You know? So when all of that's being promoted, what's in turn going to happen with Israelites? You're moving far, further away from your power, man. And that's all because why Edom feels as though as long as we don't know who we are, he can stay in the position that he's in. Because ultimately, like the brother just read, he fears going into slavery, man. He fears us waking up to our true nationality, man. You know, but what? Your, your, your greatest fear is going to befall you anyway. Why? Because it's written, man. It's prophecy. You know, your blessing is your curse, man. You got that, Amos? You got something? You got something? Yeah, quick, 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 quick. Hold on. This is Revelations 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying from in heaven, now is salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointing, Yahweh Shai, for the accuser of, the, of our brethren is cast down. And that's essentially what devil means, man. You know, the accuser, you know, the accuser, man. That's, that, that's what this Edomite does. He accuses us day and night, man. Hmm. You know, here it is, he sets the booby trap. You know, when two thirds fall for the booby trap, he runs and tell the father, man. Like, look, look what he did. You know what I'm saying? Look what he's doing. You know, in hopes that, see what, <laughs> what this devil feels to realize, the Lord got a cluster of grapes, you know what I'm saying, in which it's not going to fall for the blue trap. So you can ride on them all you like, man. The Lord still got this portion that's going to do what he's saying, man. You know, and that's all the Lord needs, you know, for, for, for destruction of all the this devil, these Edomites, and by salvation of the Lord's precious and You know? It says, uh, for the accuser of the of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Right. You know? So 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 we we're approaching a time to where the devil's about to be humiliated. Uh, humiliated. You know, you're about to be humiliated. Because here it is, you know, like what's that, Isaiah the 14th chapter? Is this the man that, that made all the earth to trumpet? You know, it's gonna be shock value there, man. Because here it is, you a whole pimp squeak. You know what I'm saying? Here it is, you a two-foot midget, you know, in a big-ass chair, and once you see the chairs spin around, people, is this who that everybody should? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that Legs kicking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had a bad <laughs> dog. <laughs> had a deep-ass voice and shit. Turn around, it was, the, it was that whole midget, man. You know, that's you eat them mice, man. You know? Yeah. Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Hey, real quick, I'll read verse 9. Right. It says, And the great dragon was cast out, and that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So easy a king man could do it, man. You know, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world that he did this. You know, he told you that he was a suspect, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
you know? And, 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 and guess what? He's exposed by way of the prophets. The Lord, when you read Hosea 6 and 5, the Lord said, if I will hew you down by the mouth of my prophets, man. You know, the Lord is destroying you devils from the spirit of his mouth and he's going to do it before the stuff is coming. We all got a job to do. You know, this is our job, being spiritual about things. Don't no worry, the Lord's going to allow us to get physical. That's going to be in the kingdom. You know, because the Lord said it himself, and, and, and everybody got this uh, uh, false imagination of the Lord as if he's just a mama's boy. He's all Excuse soft. Me, I apologize. That he's all, that he's all right. soft. That he's not into laying shit down. And Gehoshite said it himself, like, if this was my kingdom, then my servants would fight. You know? So what's that implying? That we got to be peaceful at this point. Blessed, blessed the peacemakers, so to speak. We're fishing at this point, but the Lord's going to turn us into hunts. You know? But uh, you got that out? Yeah, 518, right? Yeah. Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Hey, death and destruction. Man, unto you who desire the day of the Lord. Because everybody feels like they're going to heaven. Man, there's a drug dealer nigga feel like he's going to heaven because he pays off the uh, the pastor, man. You know, to let him do what he do. Go ahead. It says, to what end is it for you? Mm -hmm. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. That's right, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man. There's gonna be a whole lot of destruction on judgment day, man. You know? Hey, even the elect is gonna be uh, scared, man, in that day. Why? Because the elect is scarce for going, man. How much more you uh, two thirds, man? Go ahead. He says, as if a man did flee from a lion. You know, because a brother still left here to be caught up with those that already, you know, have his uh, that past, right? Uh, brothers that left here waiting for the chariots, you're going to feel all the tumbling, the, the earth moving, the quakes, sickness, you know. They're going to be scared, man. Hey, they're going to scarcely be saved right then. Boom, because all of that, all of that's going on, the fire, the moose is coming, it's going to shake shit up, man. Even before the explode you know? and, and, and everything and the Lord can have it happen simultaneously <laughs> here it is the missile could be falling and you could be getting beamed up man yeah, yeah. you know the Lord's dramatic like that yeah. you know it's the Lord's movie so how much <laughs> can you imagine a filler you know what I mean but even if you got to be a pilgrim on that day best believe you're going to know you of the Lord's chosen you know because the Lord is going to be doing miraculous things man at that point the Lord's going to have to amplify one's faith you know to be to be a pilgrim you know, it's not, it's not like the Lord's going to leave you high and dry and do a pilgrim. Right. You know, here it is. You've been doing what the Lord required you to do. Isaiah, what, 66 chapter? The Lord said you're going to eat, you're going to drink, man. You know? Hey, the Lord is dramatic. Yeah. But it, it, everything will be done dramatic. Yeah. Serene, dragged out. Yeah. Now your woman be dramatic. Like, it's not like touch man. Look at Job, man. <laughs> Look at Job, man. Look how the Lord put Job through it, man. The Lord put Job through the ringer, man. You know, he said, the Lord said, girl, up thy look, it's like a man. Yeah, it is. You got bulls from your head to toe. And he said, hey, your, your woman's riffing on you. You lost all your substance. You know, your kids died. Yeah. You know, and the Lord still told you the girl, thy look, is like a man. <laughs> you know, so that's the nature that we got to have in these last days. You know, you may, you may go without food for four days. You may go without food for five days. You might be able to do that. You know? You know, let's see, you know, just the title of what Yahweh Shah said, how he said, I will not leave you comfortless. You know, right. you know he's going to give us the, uh, the the Holy Spirit to help us get through when he goes back uh, uh, to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father. But how much more in Jacob's trouble? He, is he not going to leave us comfortless, man? So, you know, we got to always have that in our mind as well, man. We're going we to get through, man. Yeah. And after that, oh, man, it's me in the kingdom, so you only get knowledge from there, man. Yeah. So, like, 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 like I did a lesson earlier, you know what I'm saying? The process is temporary, mm -hmm. but the promise is permanent, you know? So, we all, just think about the promise. Meditate on the promise. Meditate on the kingdom. And everything that Yahweh Shai said he was going to give us. You know what I'm saying? Says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Meditate on the This is 
Second Pedras 9 and 13. And therefore be not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, and whose the world is and for whom the world is created. Or just to back the brother up, because that's a good point. You know, don't be worried about a wicked gonna be destroyed. Don't be worried about you getting destroyed. Right. Worried about how the righteous is receiving salvation so you put more into the, uh, you doing what the Lord delight in. Yeah. You know, that will bring you that salvation. Lord's willing to give the left. That's the left. Yeah. Yeah. If you focus too much upon what's going on, you know, that can lower your vibration. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord is bringing Jacob's trouble. If you're focusing on the trouble, you know what I'm saying? You just may give in to the trouble. You know what I'm saying? You're not focused on the light at the end of the tunnel, man. You know? When, when, when boxers is in training camp, you know, they're not focusing on, you know, the the, the, the the training that they're actually doing. They thinking about them holding up that belt at the end of the 12th round, knowing it's going to be a, a slugfest. You know what I'm saying? And, and the cheers and the accolades that come with it, man. That's why Floyd do it. You know? Floyd do it for the women. He do it for the money. He do it for the attention. You know what I'm saying? He's not focusing on the training, you know, on uh, running six, seven miles every day, you know, preparing for that fight. You know? Like Bill Rogan, I don't know the guy that Bill Rogan is talking to, but he was talking about Floyd. He was like, Floyd is the uh, only, the, what, what, one and only, the only guy that can actually cross the way he beat your ass and then cross the way he do. Right. And the other guy said, he said, well, Floyd was going out partying while everybody drinking champagne he was drinking water. water yeah. And he said that when uh when, when the party was over, on his way back home, he would tell the security he gonna run back. So he running back home now in jeans and party clothes. That's how dedicated he was. He out there faking like he's drinking with two hours. Right. Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, this man drinking water. Right. <laughs> And leaving his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness? Hey, well, what I see there is final destination. You know what I'm saying? You watch that movie, of Final Destination. You know, everybody that was in, everybody who was destined to die, died. They died different ways, but they still died. Even going into the, uh, what was that, Jeremiah 15? You know, it's grievous deaths, man. So there's no escaping the Lord's judgment. You know? Man, they probably got that movie from that scripture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, inspired by the scripture to make yeah. that movie. Yeah. You can't get away from that. Yeah. You know? Hey, watch that uh, video of the crossroads with both thugs and army. You know, that death angel, you know, is traveling through. You know, it is wearing pop pop, you know what I'm saying? Touching on the forehead, on a heart attack. You know, had the bullets, you know, break off on the niggas. You know what I'm saying? Even uh, a newborn baby. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of the baby. You know? So, hey, and we had that time now to let that, that, that thing to us out. Pass on the scene. You know, the energy gets a little different around this time. You know? Yeah, I can't find the scripture, but uh, real quick, but uh, the Lord said, uh, who can deliver you from, from his hand? Yeah, who can deliver you from the hand of the Lord? I got a piece up for that. Uh, it's Hebrews. Chapter uh, 10, verse 31. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. That's simple. Yeah. Hey, okay. there's going to come a point in time. Yeah, there's going to come a point in time, man, when uh, uh, you got to have people actually uh, seeking death, man, and, and death yeah, is going to fucking flee from them, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, get cheated. They actually, literally get cheated by death, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, like, 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 like Lieutenant Dan. Uh, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. You know, because even that, even that scripture going back to like World War One. You know what I'm saying? It was all fucked up. Yeah. You know, they wished to seek death, but they didn't. They didn't die. You know, magic, you magic lands. Force, yeah. Why didn't you leave me to die? You wanted that honor, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is a freak show. That's it. Freak show. This is Revelation nine and six. And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from the soul. So look, that, that spirit is going to come back, man. That spirit is going to come back in these times. You know, can you imagine 
you know, um, the lack of food and water that's going to be out here, martial law troops, you know, big ass army guns, tanks, you know. Hey, just, just, just watch that movie on Netflix called Bushwick to get a slight idea. You know, you're going to have some individuals that wish they was dead, man. So guess what? The Lord going to keep your ass alive because he has another judgment for you. Hey, your, 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 dest your final destination could be a missile. Can you imagine? You experiencing every prophecy just to be taken out by a missile. You know? Sierra Connor style. Hey, because a lot of these people might, they're going to go right off the grid and they're going to go deep in the woods where no Don't man will even want to look for them. Yeah, the, only the, way, the only way they get caught out there if a chopper was flying by, you know, or if they it was told that it was some people, a lot of them out there. Yeah. But a lot of them, hey, a lot of Edomites are lonely, yeah. you know? They have him, his daughter's wife, son, mm -hmm. they go right camping in the, in, the, in the cabinet somewhere in the deep part of the woods among all the damn wild beasts, man. Yeah. You know, laying it out, where ain't there else going on, man? Yeah. In that mystery. <laughs> hey, you got some Edomites somewhere in America stashing a stashing an underground bunker right now with can guns. Yeah. Hey, a brother may just run into you. you know, a brother just may run into him and he's taken care of. You know, the Lord may have you been the Lord may have you taken out by a bear, you know, a brother stumbled across all of these goods and now he's set. You know? Psalm chapter 33, starting at verse 18. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that, upon them that hope in mercy, to deliver their soul from death, and to keep them alive in them. There you go. Do that again, brother. Spirit. Psalm 33, starting at verse 18. Uh -huh. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Yeah, the eyes of the Lord. Who, who are the eyes of the Lord? The angels. Right? The angels are the eyes of the Lord. You know? And how you show fear upon the Lord? You show brothers by what? Doing the things that he, that he commands on. Go ahead. Upon them that hope in his mercy. Verse 19. To deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. There you go, man. So the Lord's going to have you stumble across some goods, man. The Lord's going to keep you alive in, during the times of a famine, man. You know? So, so why fear? Uh, this is Job chapter 5, verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the, from the power of the sword, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. I mean, I quick. That's why I mean, me and the Lord is going to be his fine gold. That's, that's a completely different spirit out here, man. You know, women, they, they, they're going to want comfort. Women like comfort. And when they see that a dude is moving different out here, they're going to see that spirit on him. They're going to want to cling unto him. If, if, ultimately, if it's of the Lord's will, man. You know, but a lot of these other dudes, Oh, if I read this real quick, you got it right back. Isaiah 65 and 14. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. So that's the spirit these other dudes is going to be in. They, they're not going to be walking like how we walk. They're going to be bitched up, shitting their pants. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to get crazy. Men's hearts failing them for fear. You know, so they're going to be just as scared as the women is. But then when they see a, a man of the Lord, they see that he's moving different. You know, they see that the spirit of the Lord is upon him. And he's got that pass, that, that mark that mark of exemption, throw off. They're going to want to get down with that, man. We're going to have to beat them off with a stick, man. It's going to be our pickings in that day, man. Y'all got y'all doing what y'all doing now. It's going gonna, it's gonna to flip over, man. <laughs> you know, it's going to flip over in that day, man. <laughs> because because it's because it's about women. Women are attracted to confidence, man. You know, when you walk with a certain purpose, you know, confidence just pretty much means faith. You know, like you're sure of yourself. Women are attracted to men who are sure of yourself. So of course, a lot of two thirds out here acting like women. So why why would a why would a woman want to get next to herself in that day? You know what I'm saying? When I say that, it, uh, when, it, when they're all wrapped up in their emotions, you know, acting like a not having a plan. Women are attracted to men who has a plan, so to speak. Our plan of action is what? You lying on your house by a smell shot. 
So what? And that day we're going to be recording that time. And the woman, they're going to feel it. They're going to go feel it. They're going to see it. They're going to want to get with it. You know? The Lord willing, the bulk of my way, the Lord willing, I'll be a those men. Hey, I'm going to go to South America, man. You know, that's what the bulk of my way is going to do. It's a Only a couple ones I take, but for the most part, the hell with the folks. <laughs> <laughs> the folks, South America, they're going to be chasing that thing. Yeah, I'm out. They're going to be booking Eli and shit. He's going to be following you from the distance. Hey, man. Made a little blessing with the gift to teleport. All right. That's like the point. Why it's all flat. Like, women wanting to go to horror movies and shit, man. Or walk through a haunted house. They want to cling on tight into a man where they feel like, yo, this dude, you know what I'm saying? He, he not scared, man. He, he's about it, yeah. whatever, you know? So the same time in Jacob's Trouble, how much more when, when shit is really popping off? They're going to want to still cling on to that man where they can get comfort from, man, you know? And our strength isn't because we some we, we, we some Billy Badass, man, all right? Our strength comes from the Al Basham Al Shot. We're not going to join no fucking 600 muscle man march, man, thinking that we all lack. Thinking that we hard from our own flesh. Scoop say, though we trust not, we, we trust not in flesh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Philippians 3 and 3. Man, man. Yeah, Our it, confidence ain't in flesh. And it, it, I mean, it's sad you gotta break it that, that you gotta break it down, that baby, into baby food because certain guys will look at this thing and think that, you know, they, they mighty men. But really, we're just normal men. We're only great. Paul said, we're only conquerors to him that love us. But the Lord you what it spurs us to bring out certain things, that's because it's us them. You know, he used you as a vessel. He used that brother, he used that brother, he used that brother, he used that brother. He used, brother. He used us as prophets, as elect. So we're only great unless he makes us great, man. And that's through the power of the hour of Hashem Yahweh You know? Because you got some different cats. I don't want to change the subject, but like, you watch guys and guys be trying to be more than what they are. You know, you know neighborhood prophets, you know what I'm saying? All that crazy shit, man. And it's really just come out as a Teach us, man. Just teach, man. Go out there and teach, and that power, that glory, gonna come. Hey, read that again from the top. Job, uh, Job five and nineteen. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah. Yeah, in the no, cause in the seven it represents salvation. You know that six troubles go back to the uh, seven seals, the troubles, man. You know, and that seven, that seven uh, uh, trouble is going to be what salvation. All right, we're in the sixth right now, going right into the seventh. Because the seventh just represents completion. You know? Yeah. Yea, in the seventh, there shall no evil touch thee. See? In the seventh, no evil gonna touch us. Yeah. In famine, he shall he shall redeem thee from death. Hey, so brother's gonna eat, brother's breaking it down. He said Isaiah 65 and 11. You know, in, in 12, 13. Yeah. And in war, the power of the sword. And in the war, power of the sword. Fulfill the Psalms 91. Right there, right there. Yeah, see? Some, uh, you got it, uh, some, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, uh, every side, not from 90 in our house, or every side, read down something to it. Uh, this is no evil okay. Yeah, this is Psalms 91 verse 10. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep in all thy ways. It says, they shall bear thee up in their hands, these thy that these thou dash thy foot against a stone. Yeah, at least you stumble. You know, and, and get hit. Ooh, you know? <laughs> hey. Uh the book of Eli, right? Uh you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when he thought he needed the Bible, and he had got shot holding on to the Bible instead of being more spiritual. He could have used wisdom and said, you know what, take the book. You know, and then that's when he realized that he got hit. It was, I don't need it. Now he walked and shot and fell out. It's like, you know, they well, I can say they moved the movie. They grabbed him up and then they hit. They started spilling everything out. It was all in his mind. You know? So we don't need no goddamn guns, man. We don't need none of that shit, man. All we need is our faith and uh hope. Praise in your house, watch me outside, man. And believe, man. Faith and believing in the Lord. Because any little thing that we need, the Lord knows we need it already. That's 
Matthew's the sixth chapter. You know, take no thought. You know, because everything that the Lord knows we need, He knows we need it before we even think of it. Before we think of things, He knows we think. We gonna think of it, man. While we thinking of things, He knows what we thinking of. You know. And Esau wants that power. He wants to be able to do that. He wants to be able to say and try to rewrite what you're thinking, man. Esau wants that power. That's the one that's sitting in that seat, man. You ain't the most high. Right? Verse 21. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Ain't gonna be afraid. Knowing that the Lord is with you, man. Hey, your, your faith is, man, listen, you get that power, you're going to be man, you're going to be strong, man. The Lord going to renew your strength, man. You know? At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. That shows you the nature of our Lord, man. All right? Our Lord has a sense of humor, too. Okay? Our Lord also hates, too. You know, uh, in fact, Joe talking about some uh, uh, God is love. You know, he kept trying to push that vibration. Because, you know, God is love. He was talking about the Bobby Spurs getting out. And in that, vid that video, brother seen it. He was like, well, you know, because it's positivity and God is love. Like, nigga, the most high hate too. And the Lord laughs when people fucking get put to death. You know? Scripture says here, we're going to laugh at death, man. If we're laughing, the Lord's laughing, man. If the Lord is angry, we're going to feel that he's angry. See, if the Lord is angry, you laughing, you might just put your ass to death. All right, he's a king, man. So then you go back in the ancient times, you watch those old shows, and you see how the king mannerism is. Say the king is mad about something, whatever's going on, and you come to his hall, and you sniggling and giggling, send him to the lions. <laughs> Get him the fuck up out of here. Get that trap door on there. Yeah, man, you got to watch how you tread, man. You know, hey, you go before the apostles, man. You gotta watch how you tread, cause hey, they was those mighty men, they was those men, man. So you gotta watch how you tread, man. It's all about honor and respect, man. You know, you don't just get in front of the, the, uh, the Lord and act a fool. That's why the scriptures say, before you come in the Lord's house, keep thy mouth closed, man. It's a form of respect, man. You know. This is uh, uh, twenty-three, uh. For, for, th oh, for thou shalt be a league with the stone, the stones of the of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. Even the animals will be at peace with us. Well, Lord willing, we beat those men. So I say us. Hopefully, we are all a part of that. Man. We want to be a part of that. Animals as well. We might be the uh, 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 the X Men movie, the Wolverine movie, the first movie that they made. And remember, he. In the scene in the movie, the, the Wolverine was out in the woods, and it was this big, gigantic bear, and they crossed paths. And he looked at him, and the bear looked at him. And, like, <laughs> and went his way. The Wolverine was like, and went his way. And then when he went into the bar, he found out these dudes was over there, the rednecks was over there talking shit, and they were saying how they killed this massive bear. So he went over and said, hold up, what? And then they told him the story. They was all happy about it, proud. One mm. was killed them niggas because they killed the bear. Yeah. His own. <laughs> you know, being at peace with him. So imagine, I, I think of that scene when I uh, hear yeah, that scripture, that. man. Mm. You know, that's it. I mean, that's, that's it. Yeah. And you had all, um, um, and when we was at that one spot, that cat that wanted to pass us some shit, we were looking out his oh, mad yeah, wig. Yeah, oh yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. That reminds me of uh, all. Yeah, like, uh, could I pass? Could I pass? Yeah, that reminds me of like a uh, Balak <laughs> with the uh, donkey. Yeah, I think that was Balak. Yeah. With the donkey and a uh, donkey, I saw the angel. So we could have the angel. The angel could be right around us. Right. You know, and it could be that same vibration, man. So where they like, yo, I ain't fucking with him. Let's go to the hell. This is the book of Psalms, chapter uh, chapter 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That's the secret place of the Most High. The scriptures. You know? The, way the scriptures say, uh, what's that, 2 Peter 3? What manner of person are ye to be? 
in all holy conversation and godliness, you know, honoring our way, uh, ordering our way up right, you know, that's how you abide under the shadows of the Almighty, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh You got to put in the work, you got to be diligent, you know, you got to be, uh, uh, you got to, you got to know yourself, man, you got to know that you're living more in the spirit than the flesh, man, because obviously we're not perfect, man, you know. Well, go ahead, uh. that's the spirit of the week. I remember the Apostle Tahar and last you know, Saturday last year he did and then throughout the week he was going to how you know we gotta get those breakdowns right man. Yeah. And then Sirach 39 speaks about how the man of the Lord he was so early to know the secret mysteries of the Lord. Yeah. You know? This is uh, verse 2. I will say of the Lord, he's my refuge and my fortress. Hey, the church can say that, but they don't know why they're saying that. They just saying it because it's the same. You know, they say God is love. God is love. All the time. <laughs> all the time. Oh, that's how they say God is love. All the time. And all the time. That's what this is saying. They don't believe in it. They don't believe in what they say. They can't believe in it because, for one, that's not of the true living power. They pray to Jesus. And the vibration of Jesus Christ. It says, My power in Him will I trust. Surely He will. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the flower and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Yeah, be covered for what? The nuclear missiles, man. That, nu that nuclear destruction. Because the way that this place is going to go out is by the ways of thermal nuclear fire. All right? In the, in the act of World War III. All right? Missiles going to be shot off everywhere, man. But ultimately, Babylon, North America, from California to New York, you know, from, what's up there? I don't know, fucking, California to New York, all of it's going to be destroyed, man. <laughs> it says, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. You know, you know rivers is going to be emptied out, man. That's crazy. Rivers be deep, man, like Mississippi River and all of that shit, man. Yeah. And, and the Great Lakes, that's crazy, man. Yeah, that's Captain Cook three. It's hey. like, were you mad at the dirt? Were you mad at the rivers? <laughs> Damn. 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 It's gonna bring you new life, man. Yeah. We, we do got um, you know, fucking trash island shit. Oh yeah, you know, trash, you know. Oh yeah. Whole continent full of trash. 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 Nor the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor the destruction that wasteth at noonday. And it's that's the pestilence that walking in the darkness now is that, uh, you know, that, um, that, that yeah, yeah, Crown Roy. Yeah. So, you know, we laughed at that shit. Yeah. It's a real one gonna come. <laughs> yeah. But it is a pestilence, you gotta say it. You know? it, it is a official, yeah, it's an official uh, fire system. Bacteria, it, it, it exists. Now, I've got uh, that dude, that dude, he was saying that. Um, oh, the gut? Yeah, he found like over 700 uh, bacteria or some shit in the gut that was oh. never before seen. You know, yeah. he saw, you know, he saw uh, fucking gut. That's because GMOs are they put up in that environment. Right. If I'm not mistaken, he also brought out uh, one of his reports throughout the time. Yeah. Yeah. ancient things or whatever the case may be and they extracted the uh, bacteria from it and they've been playing with it in the laboratories man yeah so go ahead uh, yeah oh uh, it says a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Every time brother read that, that reminds me, that's the movie scene, man. You know, every time in the movies, what happened? In the, the action-packed movie, Denzel, they always gotta do this. After he do something crazy, he turn around, and he just walk away in slow motion. <laughs> 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 That's what they took that from, man. They twisted, man. You know? But that's gonna happen, man. Your brother's gonna be protected, man. Before they took it up. You know? yeah, huh? It says, because thou hast made the Lord, 
which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Okay. It says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh, thee, nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Thou shalt bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and otter, the young lion and the dragon. Thou shalt trample under feet, under feet, because he hath set his love upon thee. Therefore will I deliver him. Hey, brother, get spiritual powers because the Lord has set his love upon you, man. And that's because your name is written in the heavens, man. Hey, man. Like they put your foot on a dragon and lion. Uh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Those have never seen a lion before. Hey, the Lord said he would make us a, 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 a what do you say? A, a, a shark thrusted shark instrument. instrument. Having teeth. teeth. Having teeth, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, shall be a lion among sheep. You know, they even sheep, you're a lion, man. Yeah, how was shots coming back that way? Wait, I'm three more verses. Because he has set his love upon thee, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on, on high, because he have known my name. He yeah. shall hey, that's the importance. Because we have known his name. So don't say don't listen to any camps that say they ain't got the name. They lying. The they got the name, man. You know, when brothers have their own testimonies that they can vouch for them their own uh, uh, way, you know, they didn't, just because they was told it, it was exercised through their faith, through their uh, tribulations, man, their strength, pain, you know, so you can't take that away from brothers, Esau can't, he wants to take that away by putting stuff in our bodies, man, so he can, you know, brain freeze your ass, man, and hopefully trick you, trick the one of the Lord's elect, but that's really impossible because the Lord said none can pluck one of these out of my hand, so go ahead, uh. it says, he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Hey, so the Lord is going to honor this man, man. All right? We're basically giving him his love to him like he did with King David, man. King David was a, a great king, man. Okay? A warrior, man. Things that the Lord did with King David, that was, that was love. <laughs> that's, that's what his name means, for love. For love, yeah, it is, man. Hey, so, Lord Willis, let's be edifying. We want to give all praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim, Rekar Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of the great millstone. We do well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.